morning, everyone. Hope you are well. It's Friday, so how can you complain? Um, for those of you that are here already, we're going to start in just a few minutes. In two minutes, we will start. Uh, but those that are here, um, can please complete the register so long in the chat box. Right at the bottom, uh, you will see Naeem has just put a, uh, an attendance register. Yes. So just please click on the attendance register um, and complete that so long while we're waiting for other participants to join us. So those that are here, Nasli, um, Nadia, uh, if you can please complete the, the attendance register so long. Uh, while we're waiting for others to join us. Good morning, guys. If you've just joined us, please complete the attendance register so that we can send you the PowerPoint for today and any other additional information, we will email you um, if you complete the registration to say that you are here, okay? It is in the chat box right at the bottom. If you are having a problem uh, registering, if you may be on your phone, um, you can just send your, uh, put your email address in the chat box and Nas Naeem uh, or CP will, will be able to email you the link on your, um, on your email. Uh, the Nadia's email is there. Um, Naeem or CPU, can you please uh, just send the link, registration links through to Nadia? Thanks. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are well. For those that has just joined us, um, I see we have some new uh, participants that just ended. Arlene, Liam, uh, Younger, Celeste, uh, Pride, Amanda, please complete the register. It's right at the bottom in the chat box. Uh, if you can complete that register, then at least we will be able to send you the PowerPoint presentation that we're gonna to cover today. It shows your attendance here, uh, and we'll also get a certificate to say that um, you have attended uh, uh, this webinar offered by the city of Cape Town. Okay, so for those of you that has not completed it, please complete it now. It's in the chat box. If you're having a problem 
uh, connecting uh, or registering on the attendance link. You can, uh, if you're on your phone and you um, you would like an, uh, either Naeem or Sipu to send it to you via email, you can just put your email address in the chat box and they will email you the register, okay? So if you're having a problem clicking on it, then you can just, um, you can just uh, put your email address um, to say that you, um, then they will gladly send it through to you. Uh, Naeem, if you can please send it to Celeste. Um, Naeem, can you please post it again in the chat box? There we go. So if you go to the chat box right at the bottom, you'll see the, the, the link in blue. If you click on that link, you will be able to, to, to register. If you're having a problem, please put your email address and, uh, and Naeem will send it to you. Okay, Naeem, you can, if you can just please let me know how many participants has, um, has completed it. Um, and then you can just remind me a little bit later, but we need to get started, guys. It is Friday, so we want to cover as much content as possible um, so that we can get back to our businesses. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen quickly and I will share, I will send you this PowerPoint presentation. And as we're going through the presentation, please, you can stop me if you if you have if you have a question. Uh, uh, you can either type it in the in the box or you can raise your hand. Um, uh, I don't. I would prefer to deal with an issue when it arises rather than um, later on. Okay. So what we're going to do before we start, I want you to share firstly what you something about yourself that you love, something that you that you're really passionate about, how you can add value. To, to, to someone's life, in other words, what you're doing and vice versa. This is what we do when we connect in business. Okay, so remember, you need people, right? Irrespective of what business you're in, you need people to assist you. You need buyers, people to buy uh, what you're doing. You need people to share what it is that you're offering with others. You need to be able to partner with people, collaborate with people, and all of that involves uh, connecting, right? So what we're going to do very quickly we're going to do a short uh, 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 networking activity where you're going to share in the chat box, right? In the chat box, you need to share a few things about yourself. So I'm going to go first. My name is Halid Smith, okay? I am passionate about developing people and businesses. That is something that I love. Um, I would also share some things that I'm good at and bad at. So, so what I'm good at is marketing. Uh, and sales, that's the area that I'm, that I'm passionate about and that I love. Things that I'm not so good at is spreadsheets, um, anything technical. I'm a little bit challenged in those areas. Okay, so that's things that I'm good at. So if you need help developing yourself, your business, I can help you. So that is very short. It's to the point and quite clear. Okay, so we do business mentoring and, and training. So that is, that is what we do as a, in a nutshell. Uh, and I want you guys to share um, a little bit about yourselves in the chat box. What is the business that you're in? Um, uh, something that you love, how you can add value to someone's life in the chat box. Obviously, very short, short and sweet. So please post in the chat box. I would love to, uh, to, to get an understanding of the businesses you're in and what it is that you're doing. So you can put it in the, in the chat box your industry, something that you love, um, something that you're good at, how you could add value to someone's life in the chat box. You're going to type it. If you don't like typing and you prefer talking, you can go for it. You have a question, Faisal, go for it. You can unmute yourself and, and, and share. Remember, we're only giving you 15 seconds. So you, so you have to do it quick. Go yeah, for it, yeah. Faisal. I'm still struggling to find it. I do I, I tap. Type what I need to check. I mean, at the bottom, type... at yeah. the bottom. So if you go to your if your screen, you'll see there's a right at the bottom of your screen. There is mm -hmm. a there's there's different uh, tabs, and you'll see there's one that says chat. If you click on it, you'll be able to log onto the chat um, like a message, and it says type a message at the bottom. Are you able to see that? I just see like something that looks like a pin. A pin? No, no, no. It's not that one. Na Naim. You, Naeem will assist you. He's gonna. He will chat you privately. 
and then he will maybe assist you in um, in in logging on. But it's right at the bottom of your screen. On your on your phone or your laptop? I'm on my phone. On your phone. Um, Naive, just uh, can you uh, uh, just assist Faisal quickly with finding the chat on the phone? I'm on a laptop, so I, I'm uh, I'm not sure exactly where it okay, is on the I've phone. Got it. I think I've got it. You yeah. got it. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, all right, all right, okay. all right. Wonderful. So you can you can share um, on the chat. So, sorry, what? So what? Yes. Can I chat? Can I chat and you, see, and see you? Yes. So you can you can chat and see me at the same time. It's fine. You can type in the chat and you can see me at the same time. Okay. Nadia, thank you for sharing. I'm dedicated. Let's just have a look. Uh, pride, that is not always to do. Uh, she's a bit impatient. That's great. Thank you for sharing. Uh, can make business succeed. That's very clear. Celeste, passionate about developing people, processes, and supplying great products, building trust, products, and services to ensure sustainable business future. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so those are things that we share with people, right? Because people connect with, with passion, right? And, you, you know, you want people to remember you, right? Even if you meet someone, even for a few, for a minute or two minutes, you want that person to remember you two years down the line. You understand? If they know this is something that you're passionate about, this is what you do, um, and, they, and, they, and they get that connection, um, they're going to remember what you do. Project 100, create employment for 1,000 people nationally, franchise-based, collaborating government, local municipalities, start, uh, uh, and startup issues. Great. I'm Ravi, social entrepreneur. Okay. You own Simply Asia. Wonderful. I love Simply Asia. Heritage Square. I love interacting with people, passionate about adding value and realizing opportunities are value mine. Uh, by connecting opportunities, have a better world. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. So we have we have quite a lot of, we have quite a diverse uh, uh, group uh, uh, of people. So we're going to get started with, with the session today. Okay, so we're going to look at, firstly, why we are here. So we're looking at business, you guys are doing business, we the, and there's three key things that we look at, and these are things that we're doing every single day. We're increasing sales, we're increasing profits, or we're increasing customers. Because if you want to sell your business, right? Let's say, for example, you decide in, in a year's time, you want to sell your business. If I'm an investor. I'm going to invest in your business. I want to buy your business. I'm going to look at these three things. I'm going to look at these things. I want to know what is your current sales, because that determines the value. Are you profitable? Number two, irrespective of your volume, but are you profitable in the business? And what, what is your client base, right? How many clients do you have, right? And how many people knows what you do? Because see, there's two different things. So when you look at, for example, Standard Bank that's buying Liberty now, you know what they're buying? They're not buying an insurance company. They're buying the clients. This is, this is what people buy. So those, these are things that you are building on every single day, right? And this is where the power of social media comes in. The power of connecting comes in is because people need to understand what it is that you do and they need to identify with your brand. So you, that's what you're building. You're building a brand and you're building a machine, something of value. And these are the things that increases the value of your business, right? So the, uh, remember that the session today, we want to cover at least a few key things. And these are some of the things that we want to cover today. So we're going to look at when you're competing with other businesses, because look, you are in different industries, but you are all competing. That's what we want as the city. So the city has over 14 and a half thousand vendors. These vendors that are, are in, in, some of them are in similar industries. They're doing the same things. We want those businesses to compete. The city wants, wants businesses to compete because competition is good. But as a small business owner, you need to separate yourself from everyone else. 
happens if you are in cleaning services? What are you doing different? If you're in construction, what are you doing different? If you're in supplying goods and, 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 and other products, what are you doing different to others? And that needs, you need to be very, very clear on what that is. And when I speak with people and, and they say, you know what, what do we do? Ah, oh, we do 20 different things. You know, what, what, what we do all these things. And who are your clients? No, my clients are everyone. Okay, that is not a strategy. That is not a strategy. You cannot say, my clients are everyone, right? You need to be, you need to target specific people that will, that is going to be interested in your product. So where you look at competitive advantage, you're looking at cost. So you determine where you want to come in at the market. So if you're in construction, there's lots of companies in construction, but some charge, charge a very, very high rate. Some charge a very, very low rate. And, and that is based on their strategy. They say, I would rather have a few clients, right? I would rather have a few clients, but my clients are in Camps Bay, right? So they are in Camps Bay. They hire in clients. They will, I will charge them three, four times what I would charge everyone else, but they want to pay. They don't mind paying. You understand? So that is my client. Those that is, that cannot afford my rates, they are not my clients, okay? I'm not targeting them because I would prefer to work less at a much higher profit, right? Rather than, 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 than work a lot and my profit margins are low, right? So if your costing is low, people want that. A lot of people saying, you know what? I want a low price. You know, I want a good price. So I'm going to use your services because your costing is lower. Others don't want that. You understand? This is why we say, you need to be very, very clear what your strategy is. If your strategy is competitive pricing, then you keep it low. If your strategy is quality, right, then you're going to keep it high, but you're going to target those people. Okay. If you look at new product development and market dominance, this is something very, very important that I want to, I want to mention specifically. When you look at, if you're a small business, right, and you want to grow your business, this, you, you need bigger contracts, okay? Because it is, it is very difficult if you're a small business and you're looking and you sell this, for example, you sell these things, right? And you're going to sell one, 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 right? That takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to sell to one person. Do you want, do you want this? Do you require this? This is what I do. Do you want it? You, that, that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to be able to do that. And you are limited on how much sales you can do one-on-one -on -one sales. But if you can get a contract, if you can get a contract, a one-year contract, a two-year contract to supply 20,000 of these, right? 20,000 of these. Those are the things that you want. Those are the contracts that will allow you to grow, allow you to be able to, to buy vehicles, buy equipment, to scale your business is those long-term contracts. The challenge is that if you are small, you are micro, you are micro, you're not going to get those contracts because here's the thing, right? I don't make the rules, but the thing is, if you're a micro, a startup, you're not going to get the contracts. You're not going to get those big contracts that you want to grow. So how you do it is by, and this is why we say market dominance, is by partnering. So if you are a small business and you partner with two or three other small businesses, now you have your capacity is much bigger. Now your capacity is much bigger. Now you can go for a national contract, for instance. You can go for a national contract. You can go for a, for a two-year contract, right? Because you are big. And when you sit with those contracts, and if, you, if, if I ask any of you guys that are there, that are in business, and I, and I say, you know what, year is a 10 million rand contract. If I come to you right now and I say, look, year is a 10 million rand contract, right? Would it be a problem for any of you guys to, to, to build capacity to deliver on that? I doubt it. I doubt there will be a problem if I were to come to you now with a 10 million rand contract. You would be able to do it, guys, because to build capacity is easy. It is easy to build capacity. You, the, the, there's lots and lots of people that's out there that will, that will be able to assist and do it. You can find them. The, the, the tricky part and the difficult part is getting 
the contracts. That is it. And you get it by partnering with other organizations to build capacity. Because remember, micro startup companies don't get contracts. So this is how you do it. This is how you become big, <laughs> you know, even though you are small, is by partnering with, I mean, it costs nothing to partner, right? It costs, not, it costs nothing to partner, but then you have capacity, which means if you connect with a company in PE, if you connect with a company in Joburg, you connect with a company in Durban, and you form an agreement with that company. Uh, remember, an agreement to say, if I'm in Cape Town, if I'm in Cape Town, you are in Durban. If I get a national contract, can you do the work in Durban or Johannesburg for me? This is what we're saying. It's, a, it's an agreement that you sign. It's an actual document that you sign with other organizations similar to yours in the other provinces. And now immediately, without costing you money, you are a national company. Can we see, guys? This is how we build. This is how we partner with organizations. I mean, big organization does big organizations does this they partner with other organizations uh, to allow them to do to do to get those bigger contracts okay so we're looking at whatever it is that you're doing right when you're packaging your business remember guys you're not going to package your business where you are now and and this is the, 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 the beauty of social media, right? This is the value of social media. Those platforms, your websites, your, your pages, it allows you to paint any picture you want. This is what it does. It, it allows you to paint any picture you want, right? And you're going to paint a picture on there of not where you are now, but where you want to be in 10 years. Okay. So, so uh, I hope you're clear what I'm saying. I'm saying you're going to paint a picture, not where you are now, where you want to be in 10 years. That picture you're going to paint now. Okay, are we clear? So this is how you get it. This is how you get bigger contracts, okay? So when we see global, right? You must remember South Africa is seen as a gateway to, to Africa. Lots and lots of opportunities, lots and lots of opportunities in Africa, okay? Because even though South Africa is, is seen as its third world, we're seen as first world, if you compare us to the rest of Africa. And there's lots and lots of opportunities for expansion into Africa. So this is how we see it. Remember, it's how we package our business. It's how we package our business. That, and, and remember, those are the opportunities that we want, and there is support from government. And this is what a lot of people don't realize, right, that there is support from government, right, for companies that want to expand into Africa. That's through Westgrow. So that's all. That's what Westgrow does. They, they provide linkages to business that want to expand uh, uh, globally. Okay. So we're moving on. So this pie chart, right, this pie chart, is very, very important to you as a small business. I'm gonna explain what this pie chart is and I, and I want all of you, right? I want all of you over the weekend, I just want you to draw this, this circle. You're gonna draw a circle. The circle you're gonna put up somewhere in your house. You can put it up next to your, you can put it up next to your bed, stick it up somewhere in your office or in your home, but you're gonna put this the pie chart up there. What this is, is income streams into your business, okay? How money flows, how money flows into your business, okay? So these streams needs to be built. Someone needs to build them. They must, someone needs to build them. And on average, you would need at least five or six of these income streams, at least five or six of these income streams within your business, okay? And we're going to go through a few of these streams. Uh, and, and the reason why you need to build at least six is because streams dry up. <laughs> streams dry up. So if you take the whole, the whole of government, city of Cape Town, Western Cape government, central supplier database, all the municipalities, and there's over 4,000 municipalities. If you take all of that, 
That is the whole of government. It is one stream. It is one stream. It is All of that is one stream, right? It's government. But you cannot survive just on government work because, guys, government rates are lower than corporate rates. So you're going to be very, very busy, but you're not going to make lots and lots of money, right? And, and we are in business to make money. We're not in business to be busy. Okay, so I hope, you, I hope I'm clear. You don't want to be busy every day and you're not making money. You're right. You want to be busy and you want to be making money. So you need to have a combination. You need to have a combination. Yes, government work is great. They give you, they keep you busy, and it, it covers expenses. It covers you covers salaries and all of those things. So you have to have that as a stream, okay? But it's not your only stream of income. It's not your only stream of income, and that is why when you're competing against other companies. And you want to know but how this is company able, able to go in so low, you know, on rates. They, they're able to go in low because it's not their only source of income. They've got other bigger contracts, corporate contracts, that is covering their bills and expenses that they're making very, very good profit. So they don't need that for their profit. And this is why they're able to go in lower. So you need to be able to build all of those streams. So if you look at your current stream, right? It could be, let's say, word of mouth. All of that, carry on with those streams, okay? Another stream, number two, and that is the, that is the, the, the green over here, okay? If you, look at, if you look at those streams, right, it's collaborations. Now, let me explain what collaboration is. Very, very important, guys. Remember, you want clients that can give you a contract, right? You want clients that can give you a contract right? Instead of supplying one, one, right? So corporate companies have buyers, right? Government departments have buyers and project managers, right? What you want to do is if you form a collaboration agreement with someone that doesn't do what you do, let's say, for example, you in construction, okay? So you do construction, but you partner with a company that doesn't do construction. They maybe supply office furniture, I'm using it as an example. They supply office furniture. That's their business. They're doing it for 20 years already, supplying office furniture. Okay. They don't do building, but they have clients. They have clients that trust them. This is the thing. Remember, people buy from organizations they trust. So if someone has built up a relationship, right, with a client for 10 years, right? They're getting work, they're getting contracts with this client. They trust them. They trust them. They trust them. If, the, if you form an agreement with that, with that company to say, you know what? If you connect me with your client, right? As a partner, you connect me with them to say, you look, the, uh, we do uh, office equipment and furniture. This company is very good. It's one of our partners. They do, they do construction. They do alterations and all of that. Please connect with them. You can trust them. They are very efficient. They're very professional. And you can do business with them. You need to connect them. If, they, if you do that, I will give you 5% of what I make. That's, this is what we're saying. Remember, I'm going to give you 5% of what I make forever. So it, for the whole year, next year, we're doing contracts, I'm gonna give you 5%. Why am I gonna give you 5%? Because you are connecting, you're connecting opportunities to me. And the five, what is 5%? It's nothing, it's nothing. But when people benefit from your relationship, that is when you have people pushing for you. Let, let, understand what I'm saying. If you pushing for you and you're the only one pushing for you, in other words, you're in your business, but if you stop pushing today, in other words, you do nothing and your business stops, then you have a problem. You understand? You need to get more people pushing for you. So if you're sitting and you have sitting at home, you're not doing anything, but you have five, five agreements with five collaboration partners to say, you know what? I'm going to give you 5% of whatever I, I earn through this client. Remember, this, the, the, uh, uh, it's a different industry. So that you're not taking anything away from that company. But if I connect you, I'm giving you 5% forever. 
run. That is valuable. That is very, very valuable because it's like you're having five sales managers, but it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost, it's free because I'm not paying you. I'm, not gonna, I'm only going to pay you when you give me a contract. When I get a contract through this client, I'm going to give you a percentage. If I don't, I don't have to pay you every month. So it's like you have five sales managers working for you. And this is where, when we look at the work that we do, more than, more than 30, 40% of the work that we do comes through referrals. Someone refers us. Someone refers work to us, contracts to us. And this is all that you would need to do is put the agreements in place. But remember, it's not verbal, right? It is not verbal. It is a contract that is written, that is written down and you signing those contracts and you signing those contracts. Okay, so those collaboration agreements, let me just check the chat. I don't, uh, 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 I don't always look at the chat, um, but I'm uh, just checking now if there's any questions. Great, no questions so far. Great. Naeem, can you just please check for me? If you can please check how many participants has completed the register and just let me know. Um, if you have not completed it, please, and you've just joined us, uh, please just click on the link at the bottom. 14 completed. Great. And how many are we? We more than 20. So please, there's quite a few that has not completed the register. Remember, we would like to send you the PowerPoint presentation. And we're also going to send you a certificate. So you need to complete the register in order for you to get that. If you have not completed the register and you're having a problem, please put your email address in the chat box and, and Naeem or Sophie will, uh, will email you the, the link and you can, you can do it um, on your laptop or computer later on. Okay, so please put your email address there and, and complete that. Uh, we only have 14 that completed and we're more than 20. Um, so those that have not, please do it now um, while, we, while we carry on. Okay, thank you guys. So, the city of Cape Town, we said collaboration. I mean, look, even big companies do this, guys. I mean, if you go, go on Safi, uh, when you land in, in, in Joburg, they say, please use Swifty Car Rental and get a 5% discount. What they don't say is that they also get a 5%, right? Because they have a partnership with Swifty, right? So the, these are big companies are doing this. So we say this is, the, this is part of the partnerships that you need to form and that you benefit from. Remember, it is win-win. It's not just you refer someone, right? They can refer someone to your client. You also have clients. You refer them to them and then you benefit. <laughs> you understand? So it is win-win. You get 5% or, or they get 5% by, by giving you contracts. And if you have a, a, a client and you're doing construction, and the building is done. Now they need furniture. They need to furnish. You know what? When your building is done, please contact this company. They will furnish it for you. They're very reliable. You get 5% of that. Can we see? It's win-win. It is win-win. Uh, uh, and these are agreements which cost nothing to do, which cost nothing to do. And those are the things that you need to put in place. Okay? We said the city of Cape Town. So we have the how to do business with the city. Uh, Western Cape government, which is also online platforms that has been created, and then the central supply database, and then all the municipalities. Okay, so when we say, look at look for opportunities, <laughs> there is thousands. I mean, the city's, the city's budget, 14.9 billion is spent. There's no one that spends more money than government. So obviously you have to be on those platforms. You have to be doing your online tenders because remember, it takes you five to 10 minutes to complete an online tender. No more printing on the city of Cape Town. The same with Western Cape government. That's Arriba Trade World. That's at Century City. Okay. So if you are if you are registered with Western Cape, that's all other departments, Department of Agriculture, all those Western Cape Education Department, they're all on Western Cape government. So you need to be on those platforms. You can now complete those tenders online. It's five, 10 minutes to complete. Okay, that is tenders up to 200,000. So you have to be there, guys. You have to be there on those platforms. It's money coming into your business. And like anything, any business, you're looking at time you're putting in and the return on investment coming out. So, so you look, you're putting time in, you're getting something out. So this is it. If you do, if you do 10 tenders, right? 
you're going to get two or three. This is how the numbers work. How long does it take you to do? 10 minutes, max, 10 minutes. So it takes you 10 minutes. You do 10, you do 10, you're going to get one or two. That is worthwhile. It's a worthwhile investment of your time. And when can you do it? Any time of the day or night. You can do it. You can get up to our at night. You can sit in your bed and do it. You don't even have to get out of bed. So, so guys, that is non-negotiable. Everyone that is here has to be registered with government as a service provider, has to be competing on tenders to be able to do that. And remember, we have a workshop on that. And I will share to everyone here uh, today on how to do business. Uh, uh, there's workshops, free workshops that you can attend on how to do those tenders as well to increase your chances of getting that all available through the city of Cape Town for free. All you need to do is access it. All you need to do is access it, register and attend Summers online and Summers face-to-face -face in your communities in all 24 districts of the city of Cape Town. We were, uh, uh, two days ago, we were in Atlantis running these programs in Atlantis. We are in all the other areas, Mandelberg areas as well. So you need to communicate with your local city of Cape Town official. It's there from the city to discuss so that we can come to your communities and your areas as well. Um, and and we, we will gladly come and do it face to face, um, it, it, uh, which is obviously a little bit easier than the, than the online platform because we're physically able to do it and assist you right there and then, right? So please liaise with your local city of Cape Town officials and, and bring a few of the businesses together and we will come to your areas um, and deliver a, a, a training and support services for you um, from the city. Remember, this is part of the city's supplier and enterprise development program. So if you are not a vendor yet, we want you to be a vendor. And if you are a vendor, we want to be able to assist you so that you can get more contracts through the city. Okay, ESD. So what is ESD if you have not heard of it? Okay, so ESD is Enterprise and Supplier Development. Okay, so for those of you that are not, a, not aware, what government has done is they say, if you're a business, any business, and you want to do work with the city or work with government, right? You need to be compliant on your BEE. So you need to be level one to level five. Right now you can do work with government. If you, if you, if you are not, you cannot work for government. This is just how it is, right? You exclude it. So if you are, uh, if you are APSA or you are Metropolitan or Sunlam and, 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 and you want to do work with government, you must remember you have 40,000 vehicles that needs to be insured right? 50,000 properties that needs to be insured, people uh, uh, that needs to be insured. So insurance companies cannot do without government contracts. It's worth billions for them. It's worth billions, right? So they need to be compliant. And one of the things they need to be compliant on their BE, they need to be spending 1% of their turnover, 1% needs to be spent on small businesses, right? 1% on enterprise de development, which is any small business, and 1% on their suppliers, right? And now government has said, you know what? We're giving you bonus points. Now, who doesn't like a bonus? You get the bonus point, right? If you're able to move a, a, a non-supplier, which is just any business that moves into their supply chain, they will give you an extra bonus point for that, right? So. Corporate companies will get a bonus point by taking you and, 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 and helping you to become a supplier, to be able to deliver services to them. Now, I need to, I need to be clear on what this, uh, on, on, on the amount of money we're referring to here. When we're talking about the 2%, just the 2% of corporate funding that is, that is being spent on small businesses like you, that comes to 37 billion rents. Okay. Not million, not million, billion. 37 billion rands is being spent every single year. Not once off. Every year, every year, it's being spent on small businesses. It's been spent on small businesses. Equipment, machinery, vehicles, infrastructure, whatever you need, you don't pay it back. It's grant funding. Grant, grant funding. 
for the purpose of creating jobs. So they are saying, right? Plus you're getting contracts, guys. You're getting contracts. So, so understand this. So if I delivering services, right? And I want to deliver services to pick and pay, right? I want to deliver services to Sunla, right? I want to deliver services to APSA, right? They're going to assist you to grow your business, right? They're going to push money because remember, money must be spent in order to get the points on their scoring so that they can do work with government. So they're going to spend it on you. Plus, they're going to help you enter their supply chain, right? To be able to deliver services to them as a corporate company. Okay. So where, where would you, how do you find, where, you, you need to understand this has never been like this before, right? So the opportunities for you as a small business is huge. And all you need to be doing is making contact, making contact with the transformation managers of those organizations, transformation managers of those organizations, because they're all running programs. Vodacom, MTN is running uh, 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 seven programs. Tiger Brands, 12 programs. Sunlum is running uh, uh, six programs. Pick and Pay, they're running programs. Oceana Group, the Foschini Group, they're all based here in the West Cape. The offices are here. The transformation uh, managers are here. All you need to do, guys, is ask how, how, how can I apply? How can I get on to your enterprise and supplier development programs? Okay, how, how do I apply? This is the opportunity that is available for you now. It takes a bit of time and work to get on there. But let me tell you, when you are on, when you are on those programs, you get the funding and you get contracts. And that's all you need. That's all you need as a small business. If you have capital to grow and you, and you have contracts, long-term contracts, you can grow your business. You understand how it works, okay? So you need to see it as an opportunity. You need to see it as an opportunity for you. And remember, there are, it's only small businesses that can access Remember, they get points for assisting small businesses. If you're big, you can't get it, right? So they, the, and remember, they're not, it's not like they're giving, they're giving it to you for free. Yes, they're giving you, and they're spending money on you, but they are getting something in return. Guys, you need to understand this. It's win-win. Yes, they're spending money on you. Yes, they, 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 they're helping your business. Yes, they're giving you contracts that you would never get before. Um, but they are also benefiting by getting points on their scoring, and now they can do work with government. And you must remember, competition amongst banks is 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 very is is, is very tight. There's a lot of competition amongst banks. There's a lot of competition amongst insurance companies. Okay, so there is competition for them as well. So scoring and getting that additional points. Um, on the scorecard makes a huge difference, makes a huge difference. Remember, for B is scoring, it's 20 points. It's 20 points uh, out of 100 or 10 points out of 100. And it makes a difference, right? If you're able to get that, I mean, it's putting you ahead of, of other companies that's competing, that you are competing against. So those things needs to be built. You have a, there's a nice weekend coming up. So you, you have time to, to work out this, this, this pie chart and where, where your income is coming from. Guys, you're doing the strategy. You, you, if you're the owners of your business, you need to put the strategy down, right? And these are the things that you need to, need to be putting in place within your business, okay? Number five, okay? We're not going to go through all of them, but number five, very important, okay? Your social media platforms. And, we, and we're not going to go into detail into it, but what we are going to do is we're going to say you have to have a presence on all the social media platforms, like it or not. You might not like Instagram. You might not like Twitter. You might not like Facebook. You might not like LinkedIn. But there is people that use it, right? There's people that's on there that use it, right? Corporate companies are on there. On LinkedIn, when you go and you have a meeting with a corporate company, they immediately go on LinkedIn. And they want to see what is this person. And you can see when you're on LinkedIn, 
who has viewed your profile. So you know, when you go for a meeting at Woolworths, you will see, they will go on and they will see, who is this person? What is this business? Are they credible? This is what they want to see. And they're not going to ask you. They're not going to ask you what you but They want to see what other people is saying about you. They want to see what is your brand about? Do you have a brand? Do you have a brand? Because remember, when you're a transformation manager, you effectively taking a contract away from a bid vest. Now, you need to understand this. If, if you're in cleaning services or whatever, and, and they're effectively taking a contract away from bid vest and they are giving it to you. You understand what I'm saying? They, they have the power to do that. Transformation managers have the power to do that. And remember, they, they, they sit very high up in an organization. They report to the owners, procurement, uh, uh, CSI, everyone sits under them. So they are big bosses. They are big bosses. So if I'm a buyer and my boss's boss tells me this contract is going there, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to do, my boss's boss told me this contract is going there. Why? Because the organization is now benefiting from it, right? There's no choice. They're going to help you get those. They're going to help you get those contracts. But remember, they are taking a risk by giving it to you, right? They're taking a risk by giving it to you. So they need to know you are credible. You are a credible business. You are delivering professional services. And what is people saying about your brand? They're going to, and they're not going to let anyone else do it. They are going to do it themselves. They're going to check. They're going to do a simple search. They're going to put your name into Google and they're going to go on all this and they're going to see, oh, what is people saying? What are you really doing? And if they see nothing, guys, if they go on LinkedIn and they see nothing, then, then they're going to put you in a box. Guys, they're going to put you in a box. Immediately, they're putting you in a box. That is, and it, once you're in that box, you cannot get out. They, they, they say, no, you are not ready yet. You know what? You're still too small. you micro. Uh, you're not ready for a contract from Pick and Pay. You're not ready for a contract from O Mutual. You're not ready for a contract from Sunlam. You're not ready yet. Give you another five years and we see, right? So, and it's, you, it's difficult to get out of that box. You understand? So you need to make sure that your social media platforms, you're painting the picture that, listen, you're a big company. You are national, right? What people is saying about you, professional, right? Testimonials, yes, you've done great service, right? Uh, uh, very professional business. Uh, 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 and all of those things is very, very clear uh, on your social media platforms and on your websites. The same thing. What you're talking is, is, is visible on your platforms. Okay, so guys, non-negotiable. I mean, if we look at the work that we get, most of the work, more than 30%, 30, 40% of the work that we get comes through LinkedIn. It's a network. It's a professional network. And every single transformation manager in South Africa is on LinkedIn. They are there. They are there. And let me tell you, very difficult to get hold of them. But if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on LinkedIn, you send them a connection request, they like what they see, they're, they're going to connect with you. And if you want to contact them, you send them a message directly and you can contact them. Right. You can contact them immediately on social, on uh, LinkedIn. Okay. So very, very powerful. And listen, in, in, in one hour, <laughs> in less than one hour, you can connect with every single transformation manager in South Africa, right? Once, they, you, once you connect, you can send them a message. By next week, you can set up a meeting, right? 100, you can contact 100 at a time, <laughs> at a time. Does it take a lot of time? No, one hour, guys. One hour to connect with all the transformation managers in South Africa, and right? And even if you have five minutes, you're a day. You can send out two or three messages in five minutes, right? And if you like me, that doesn't type very fast. I type this message out in my notepad on my phone. I type it in notepad and then I copy paste because why do I want to type the same thing out over and over? I, I copy it and paste it. Copy, paste, copy, paste. All I do, I put the name in. That's all, 
right? You can send out five or 10. So is there anyone that can say, you don't have a five minutes here or there? Five minutes, guys. You, you, you're sitting at home, you're laying in bed or wherever, waiting for something. I have five minutes. There's five minutes. You have it. You can connect. You can connect on LinkedIn. It is a powerful business network. The, right? And you, you need to be building, building your profile up. Remember pictures, high definition pictures. You need to be putting on those platforms, projects. People like to see things. They, they, you know, they, if you're in construction, if you're in uh, marketing, if you're in uh, services or whatever, engineering, it doesn't matter. They like to see projects. Yes, they like to see pictures of projects that you're involved with, and it allows you to do that, right? It's visual. You can see it. They can see this is a project that you're involved with. These are the companies that you've worked. If you're doing a job, if you're doing a job for a corporate company or a brand that is well-known, you're going to take a picture of that. You're going to take a little video of that because that builds an image. You know what? This is how people think, oh, you're doing work for a big corporate company. You must be established. You know, you must be big, right? So these are the things that you're going to do. You're going to use those platforms to build your brand, to build your brand, to build your brand. Let me just see if there's any questions. Where do we get the list of companies with transformation managers? On LinkedIn, on LinkedIn, on LinkedIn. Okay, so guys, okay, the, 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 I, I wonder if I, can, if I can maybe stop sharing and then I'm quickly going to go on, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. I'm going to show you right now. Can I show you right now how to do it? On LinkedIn, I'm going to stop my, my, my screen quickly. And then I'm going to stop my screen. Here we go. And then I'm quickly, I'm going to just show you very, very quickly. I'm going to share again. Uh, now, while you guys are busy, can you please, uh, uh, those that have not signed the register, please sign the register. And I will post it again. There's 32 people. So, so we have a lot more people that's joined us, right? And I'm going to go and I'm going to show you right now how to connect with transformation managers. Okay, I'm just quickly going to share my screen again. And I'm going to open up my screen. Okay, just going to exit here. Stop sharing. Just give me one second. I'm just quickly going to do it. I thought it might, it might be easier if I show you immediately how it works. For those that is that is not used LinkedIn before, I'm quickly going to log on and show you exactly how it works. Okay. And how powerful this, this is. How powerful this is. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Give me a second. And then... go and I'm going to share there we go great so can you guys see my screen Naim yeah. wonderful thank you so if you look if you if you type in right on top and you type in let's say transformation manager here we go so now now what's going to happen is right you can select right? Because you want to connect with people, not businesses. You want to, you want to speak with pe people, but you want to speak with the bosses, right? So if I click on people, I can pick a location. In other words, I'm only one people in the Western Cape, or I only want people in Joburg, or I only want people in South Africa. I don't want everyone. I want to connect with everyone. So I say, you know what? I want to co connect with people. Yes. And I want to connect with people, let's say, um, in uh, South Africa, show results. So now it's only going to bring South Africa, right? So when I go through, now I go through all of these people. So uh, Ribatso Transformation Manager, Metropolitan, Metropolitan, PE Transformation Manager, Engine, PE Transformation Manager, City Power, PE Transformation Manager, The Breweries, right? ECN, this list, guys, this list goes on and on 
And on this year, from one to 75, 75 pages, 75 pages of transformation managers. If I want to contact any one of them, any one of them, all I need to do is, you'll see these messages here, message, message. There, you can see my messages to them. Can you see messages back and forth? Hi, how are you doing? What are you doing? This is what we what we up to. Can we meet? Right? Any one of these contacts, you can contact any one of them. And I click on anywhere. I can do this literally. I can do this literally. Let's just skip. Let's just skip to number five, page number five, and then we and then we can see any one of them. Transnet transformation manager. Transnet. Okay. Be specialist. Changing bull. Siemens. All big companies all big companies and if you click on any one you'll see you'll see interaction right any i can click on any one of them you'll see interaction with them right messages going back please send me an email she's working at bp now uh uh, uh, uh send me a, there's my email address please send me an email and out of this this is where you're getting your contracts so if I were to connect, remember you first need to connect. So let me show you how quickly. So these, all of these transformation managers, there's like probably 500, every single one I've connected with, I send them a message. They know what I do. We do, we do business maintaining, we do impact assessments. They know that and we've sent them a profile and our work comes from them. <laughs> our work comes from them. So how do we connect, right? So firstly, you can only could message someone that accepts you as a connection. So how do you do that? This is what we do. So if we were to do, to look at uh, how do we connect with someone, because you can't message them unless they connect. So I'm gonna send them a message. So here, digital uh, uh, manager, uh, uh, equity manager, digital uh, transformation net bank. I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna find one that says that I need to connect. I'm gonna pick who I'm going to connect with, right? So I'm gonna, if I want to connect with this manager, I say connect. There we go. And I send. That's it. You can literally send 100 connection requests in one day. You can just connect, 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 connect. You connect with 100, 10 or 20 is going to connect with you. Then you send them a message directly. Guys, I need to explain this to you. If you want to go and set up a meeting with Mashinga, Head of Transformation for Pick and Pay. She's a big boss. Head of, uh, Zinzi, Head of Transformation for Woolworths, is a big boss. They have PAs that you cannot get hold of. It will take you a year if you're lucky to go and if you want to go and set up a meeting with her. If you are on LinkedIn now, you send her a message directly to her phone. No PA, no PA. It's going to her. She is the boss. She is the boss. When you speak to people, right? When you speak to people, right? You connect with the boss. Why? Because they will say, you know what? Speak to this person. But imagine, imagine my boss's boss tells me I must see, I must help this person. Right? They, my boss's boss tells me I must help this person. You're going to get special treatment. Because my boss's boss told me I must help you and you are friends with the big boss. You are friends with the big boss. So this is why you connect with the big bosses on your guys. You can connect in one hour with a hundred transformation. Man. That's it. And then you message them. So th this is why we're saying you're going to message. You're going to message them, right? You're going to message them and send them messages so i hope this is clear so firstly you're going to connect with me the, if you connect with me you can search my contacts this my contacts this is how linkedin works you connect with me my contacts is yours and i have eighteen thousand contacts every single transformation manager in the country is connected with me but it's taken me 12 years guys 12 years it's taken me 12 years every day every day for 12 years to build to build my database of 18,000 18,000 managers right you get it for free by connecting with me 
right? Because remember, you can only search the people that's in your network and under them. You can search my contacts. You can search my contacts. You can search my contacts. Okay. So guys, please, as we as we moving on, right? It's very, very easy. It's very, very easy to be able to to be able to connect with these transformation managers because you must remember, right? Their job is to give money away. Their job is to give money away. So they will connect with you, right? Their job is to support small businesses to enter their supply chain, right? Their job is to make sure that small businesses enter their supply chain, right? So they will connect with you. Okay, so now you guys know it's not that it's not that difficult, guys. It's easy. It takes you a, a short time, but please, when I see your profile, you're going to ask. You're going to search Halit Smith. Halit Smith. You can search. Go on LinkedIn, and all you do, I'm going to type it. I'm going to type it in the chat box. Halit Smith. How uh, that's how you how you spell it, right? Uh, oh, I'm gonna send it to everyone. Sorry, to everyone. I'm gonna send it in the chat box. Halid Smith. That's how you spell it. So you can connect with me. Then all my contacts is yours. All my contacts is yours. But if I look at your profile and I don't see a professional picture, I'm not gonna connect with you. No. Why must I connect with you? If you if you need to look professional, I want to see in a nice suit. Right, professional business woman. That's what I want to see. A professional business man. That's what I want to see. I want to see pictures on what you do, your industry that you're in. Professional pictures. Why? Because big bosses want to connect with big bosses. Yes, they want to connect with bosses. They want to connect with businesses that can add value to their supply chain. This is how transformation managers think. They think, you know what? I'm looking for businesses that want to be big, that is, that is professional, that, that, that wants to grow and scale their business. That's what I am looking for. So if I see it, if I see it in your pictures, right, I'm going to connect with you. I'm going to connect with you. Right. So, so, so that's why I'm going to look at your picture. If I see no picture, right, and I see no description, of what your business is and what you do, your passion about what you're doing, right? Then I'm not gonna connect with you. But if I see it, I'm gonna connect and all my contacts is your contacts. All my contacts is your contacts. And then you can connect with all the transformation managers in the country and, and you engage. Guys, you engage with them, right? And, and, and let me explain how to do this. You need to, you need to ask, you need to ask, right? How do I get on your program? But I don't think people know how to ask. I, they're not clear because when I speak to people, when they ask, what they do is give me, give me, give me. I want, give me money, give me contract, give me, give me this, give me that, give me that, give me that. This is how people are, but this is not how we ask. This is not how we ask. Instead of asking, give me, give me, give me, right? You're going to say, how can I help you spend your budget? Because remember, they sit with a big budget that must be spent on certain things, on, on, on businesses. They're looking for businesses in certain sectors. Their money must be spent on that. They have a job. They are big bosses, but they have a job. Their job is to spend their budgets, right? And they don't have an easy job. It's a difficult job. Imagine you spend 90 million rands. Now, next year, you, next year, you must spend it again. You have to do it all over again. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you are going to offer your help. This is what you're going to do. You're going to offer your help to help them, to help them spend their budgets. You're going to take the time to understand what they are doing in their business, what they are doing. So if you connect with Pick and Pay, you connect with Salah, understand what they're doing, understand where they are spending money, understand what projects they're doing, understand what they need, what they need. This is what you're going to do. You're going to take the time to understand. And once you understand 
that you are going to help them. You're going to help them. You're going to help them. And yes, you're going to benefit. They're going to give you nice contracts and they're going to give you money for infrastructure and vehicles and all of that. And you know what? You know what's going to happen? Once she's, once she's pushed all that money into your business, she's going to say thank you. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping me. At least I've spent this 20 million. It's, it's 20 million less I need to worry about. Thank you so much. Next year, you're going to get another 20 million and help again. Right? Because we are helpful people. Are we not helpful? Yes. We uh, Remember, the 37 billion is going somewhere. It's, it's being spent. So it's going somewhere. It's just not coming to you because maybe you don't want to help. Do you understand? So, But if you offer your help, if you offer your help, they, they, then you're going to access, you're going to access a lot of those opportunities. And remember, it's there. Let me, let me tell you, there has never been so much opportunities for small businesses. Yes, if you go to organization and you see programs that's run by Vodacom, right here, guys in Cape Town, right here. So when you look at Sunlam, his offices, head offices is here. Right, sometimes head offices here. Oceana Group's head offices, pick and pay. Woolworths, head offices here, is here. Capitec, the head offices here. Who's spending more money than Capitec? What are they spending it on? Huge projects for small businesses. Fully funded, fully funded with contracts. So there is so much opportunity. All you need to do is be, you need to be, you need to be packaging your business ready to scale. That's, that is it. That's when you connect with Machinga, and these, and these ladies, young, black, dynamic, dynamic, powerful ladies that is running these organizations. That's in transformation. That's it. It's all. Nayara, head of transformation for the Fashini Group. Zinzi, head of transformation for, 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 for Woolworths. All of them. More head of transformation for, uh, for Oceana Group. They all, yeah, they all, yeah. And a lot of them says, you know what? We're looking for, we're looking for black owned businesses, women owned businesses. We want to support them. We want to give them contracts. And they are struggling, guys. They're struggling to find, to find businesses that want to scale, that want to scale their business. Because things have changed compared to a, a, a year ago. A year ago, when you look at what, is, what has been happening, SA, the, uh, SA breweries, they used to go and buy, buy farms. So they go and buy a whole farm, give it to someone here going farm, why? There is no black suppliers in those sectors. No one in those sectors. Oceana Group, they buy a ship. Here's a ship. It's 30 million rand for the ship. They buy the ship. They give it to someone to go and fish supplies with the fish because there's no one in those sectors, right? This is what is it, what is what was happening before to spend that to spend that budget. This is what's been happening. Government said no. Government saying they need to be a real long-term impact for your business. They want your business to be able to be to grow, even though they're going to give you cash flow, they're going to give you infrastructure equipment, and they're going to give you a contract for a year or two. They want you to be sustainable, and the government saying they're going to give bonus points for impact. Bonus points for impact. So they want to, it's not just spending money, they want you to grow as a small business. Why? They get bonus points. Guys, who doesn't like a bonus? A bonus point. They get bonus points. If they know you are an entrepreneur and you are not happy where you are, they don't, they don't want businesses that's happy where they are. They want businesses that is here. They want to be there. Right. They want that. They, they want that. So uh, what I want you to do, guys, I want you to put down a figure. Put down a figure in the chat box. How much you want to earn in your business. Let's say three to five years from now, what the turnover in your business would want, what would you would want it to be, right? But you need to put down the figure. I need a figure, an amount per year, turnover per year. Uh, and that figure is very, very important, guys, because <laughs> let me explain. If I don't have a figure and it's written down, remember, if you write the figure down to say, this is what I want, I'm doing 200,000 now. I want 200 million, or I want 20 million, or whatever the case may be, but it's a figure, right? Obviously, everything you're doing is going to change. It's going to change. If it's 200,000, all these things you're doing is fine. It's fine for 200,000. It's not fine for 200 million. 
Can you understand? Because then it's a different game that you need to play. It's a totally different game, right? So you need to understand the rules of this game. But in order to do that, I need a figure. I need a figure, right? Uh, and it doesn't need to be realistic. You know, people are always very realistic. You know, like, I need to, how am, how am I going to make that? How am I going to, how am I going to make that amount? Do you understand? Because you are being realistic, but I don't want you to be realistic. I just need a figure, a figure. And you're going to put it in the chat box. So put it in the chat box at the 10 million. Thank you, Celeste. 10 million, right? Anyone else? Put your figures there. What, guys, we want to put it down so that it's real. It can't be in your head, right? It can't be in your head. It needs to be it needs to be down. You want you to write it down so that it's a figure that you want. Nadia, Nadia Martins, 200 million. Uh, Tendo, Masia, 15 million. Ed Wiener, 20 million. Sandra, 6 million. Wonderful. Sizeka, 100 million. Ravi, 12 million. Nesli, 5 million plus. Thank you. Those are, now it's, look, now it's real. Look, it's down there. It is down there. It's written down, right? So, so here's the thing, okay? Tobalt, 10 million, okay? So now that it's written, right? So, so here's the thing. Now that, now that it's written down, it's written down, right? You have a figure. You have a figure that you want. But now, obviously, you need to do things in place. You need to put things in place in order for you to get that, right? The, 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 this is the this is the difference. This is the difference, right? That if it is if it is six more, right? And you and you have one that is there's a hundred more, right? The, the 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 things you're doing for six more is is way different to the things that you need to do for a hundred more, right? Because remember, if your target is a hundred more, you effectively competing. You competing against a company that is already doing 100 more. Can we understand? So you're competing against that company, right? Which means you need to understand that game. You need to understand that game. You need to understand that game, right? So we're going to go through quickly, and I'm going to share my screen again on my PowerPoint. Where, where were we? Uh, here we go. Let's just go quickly to next slide. Okay, here we go. This is the one. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. So, if you have, if you have your, you have your figure now, right? So you have your figure, whether it's five mil, whether it's six mil, whether whether it is a hundred mil, right? You you need to have a plan of action, a plan of action on what you're going to do to achieve that, right? Because obviously now, if it's six mil, right? These KPIs, these are streams of income, streams of income. So what you're going to do is you need to buy a, 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 a big sheet. You know, you get a big A2 size or A1 size sheet of, of, of cardboard and paper, and you're going to put this. This is going to be your plan. This is going to be your plan for your business. How you plan, how you plan to get to that. Because remember, if you're not going to have a plan of action, it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to achieve those targets. It needs to be very, very clear. And it needs to be broken down into bite-sized pieces, small pieces, small pieces of things that you're going to do every day. This is how, this is how you get to those, to those figures. You're going to put year by KPAs. Those are your income streams, right? Those are your income streams. How the, in, how the money is going to flow, how your 100 mil or your 6 mil is going to come to you, how you're going to build it. So you're going to put there your income streams, right? That is the income streams that, was, that we covered here. All of these streams you're going to put, you're going to put, you're going to put over here, okay? You're going to put over here in these, in these headings, right? It's because it needs to be clear. It needs to be clear on what you're going to do. And then you're going to break that down into tasks. In other words, right? Let's say, for instance, we'll work, we'll work through one. So we'll say social media, building your platforms and connecting with transformation managers. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to put there, you're going to, you're going to perfect your profile. 
take some nice pictures, take pictures of what you're doing, videos of what you're doing, and you're going to upload it onto your profile before you connect. Because remember, if you are, if your target is six more, you can put a picture of a small project that you're busy with, right? Right? And you don't have to worry. You can do it yourself on your video camera, on your phone, and you can take those pictures, right? And you can put it on your profile because your target is six more, right? But if your target is a hundred more, you're going to do the same task, but then using your mobile phone is not good enough. Because remember, you are now competing. You, you, you after a hundred more, you know, six, not six more, you after a hundred more, which means you need to have a, you need to have a graphics designer that's going to do your graphics, that's going to be doing your videos, that's going to be editing your videos, so that the picture you're painting is, is on another level, very, very professional with your branding, and you need people for that. Because remember, you're competing against a company that's 100 more, that have graphics design designers, that has relationship managers, okay, that has relationship managers. If you don't have that, Right. Let me, let me explain what a relationship manager is. A relationship manager is someone, they don't sell. They don't sell. they the person that is going to build the relationship with those transformation managers and with those buyers that's going to give you those contracts. Remember, they don't sell. They don't sell. What they do is they're going to find out what is their challenges? What is these trans transformation managers? What are they struggling with? How can I help them? What is the what is the kids' names? Uh, 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 you know, what is their the, the, the dreams? You know, what are their uh, 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 aspirations for this year? They're going to find out all those things. Can we understand? And you're going to put that over there as a KPI, right? These are things that needs to happen. You're going to set up a meeting with them. You're going to contact them once a month. You're going, to, you're going to send them invites. You're going to send them invites to events. You're going to entertain. Yes, guys, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Remember, if your target is 100 million, you, this, this is the game that you have to play, right? If you want to get those contracts, because a relationship manager doesn't sell they build a relationship. They like friends. Guys, you need to understand when a contract becomes available in a corporate company, right? You, you want to have that opportunity before everyone else. You want that opportunity to come to you. Here's an opportunity, right? And if there's an opportunity that there's a 10 million rand contract that is coming up, the transformation manager knows here's a contract that's expiring and this contract is coming, is coming up. It's in your field. Who do you think they're going to contact? Are they going to contact a small business that they don't know? Or are they going to contact my best friend? Guys, who do you think is going to get that contract? My best friend. My best friend. Am I going to give it to my best friend that knows my challenges, that I meet with, and we have coffee all the time, and we have events, and when there's cricket, we go and watch it, and when there's rugby and this events, we go and we spend the whole day there. We don't sell, they don't sell anything, but they, we are friends. Where do you think those contracts are going? Yeah, it's coming to you. Here's a 10 million rand contract. Do this and this and this. I'm going to support you from transformation, from a transformation point of view, for you to be able to get this. I'm going to help you get this contract because I sit on the board, the committee that decides. Can, can we understand how this works? Right. Which is why it is so difficult for you to come from outside and go into a corporate company and get a contract. It is difficult for you to take contracts away from someone which is being nurtured. They are being nurtured. So for you to get a contract, guys, it's impossible. You can't do it by yourself. You need to understand the rules of the game. You have to be able to build the relationship. And if it's not you, if you are not that person, you're going to find someone that can do it for you. You're going to find someone. You're going to find someone that can do it for you, that knows how to do it, and you give that person a commission. You understand? You are not maybe the best person, but you need to find the person 
that is very, very good at that. And that person needs to build the relationship. Can we see you're going to do that with every single one of the KPIs that you're going to list here? It's little building blocks. So you're going to do that. Why? Because you want to tick it off. You want it. You want to put it on a chart so that at least, let's say, you've, you've, you've packaged your profile. Done. You ticked it off. Connected with 100 transformation managers. Ticked it off. It's done. Do you understand? You, you want to tick it off. Otherwise, it becomes daunting. You know, the tasks, it can be overwhelming for you. You understand? I have to do all these things. I have to do all these things. So you're going to put it on a document and you're going to put it up on your wall and you're going to list them. You're going to list them there. These are the tasks that I'm going to do. Every single one of it, you're going to put on this, on this paper. That's, the, that's the, the stream. These are the things that I need to do. If you are not registered on CSD, if you are not, for example, if this is government stream, the government income stream, if you are not registered on CSD, yes, I'm going to register on CSD. I'm going to register with the city of Cape Town. I'm going to need to go and register with Western Cape Government. I must register on all the municipalities, municipality of Southern Bosch. I must re re register on SAP, uh, SAP. All of those platforms, I need to register on those platforms. I need my vendor numbers and I need someone to go on every single day to do those tenders because that is an income stream. So someone needs to check. Every day, what is available on CSD? Someone needs to go on your profile on City of Cape Town. If you don't know how to do it, I need to sit in the workshops and do it. If, if you don't have the time to do it, I need to get someone that can do it. Get an intern. Get a young person that is that is just finished studying uh, a, a business degree. Come and work for my organization. I'm going to pay you commission. Right? Come and do and, and, and work. You're going to get someone to do it. This is how it works. Someone needs to do it. Remember, you're competing against a bigger company that has 20 staff, right? That has 50 staff, that has 100 staff to do it. And if you're going to compete with them, you need to bring people in. And the only way to bring them in is to allow them to benefit from what they achieve, right? And this is the it's difficult decisions, guys. Difficult decisions that you need to make. It's not easy decisions that you need to make as a business owner, but if that's what you want, you have to make those decisions. And if you if, and, and I always mention in my workshops, um, Spice Maker, uh, the owner of Spice Maker, Mr. Abbas, and, and he had similar, a similar decision to make. He was small. He had one little shop of spices. Uh, uh, he only had two or three guys working there. And, and, and he made a choice. I want to be big. I, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with 800,000 a year. I want, I want uh, more for my business, right? And he knew... He didn't have the people and the skills to get into corporates, to get into pick and pay. So what he did, he had to bring someone in. And he got this person in and he said, you know what? I have my plan. This is my plan. I did it. This is my plan. This exact document that we see here, this is what I did. I put it down on a strategy. I know what I need to do, but I cannot do it by myself. Can you do this? Can you get me? my product into pick and pay, into ShopRite, uh, into Spa. Yes, I can do it. And, and, he, and, and yes, it was a challenge to pay him. He told the guy, he said, you couldn't pay this guy. You couldn't pay him. He said, you know what? I can't pay you. I can may, maybe, maybe I can pay you half. Half your salary for one month. I can maybe pay you, right? But I will give you a percentage, a percentage. If you get me in there, I'm going to give you a percentage, right? And he said, you know what? I can do it. I can do it. I can do this. I know how to do it. Um, I know how to build the relationship. I know how to get in, right? He came in and he did it in two years from 800,000 to 25 million. 25 million in two years. Now, then he said, you know what? I'm, I want another target now, right? Uh, I want 150 million. In two years, 100, 150 million. Two years, 150 million, right? Today, today, listed on the JSE, Spice Maker, 395 million. Yes, per year. You know what his next target is? You know what his next target is? One billion. Yes, his next target is a billion. 
You understand? But what the, what changes? The the only thing that changes is a figure, right? And your plan. This is this is what changes. Your plan changed. On his plan, if uh, when he was when he was when he was starting out expanding, on his plan was I need to get into picking pan, I need to get into shop right. This is what I need to do now. Right now, now that's not on his plan anymore. He's saying he doesn't even care about we can pay or shop, right? His products is there. He's exporting internationally into Africa. Yes, he's saying no. My 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 target is Africa and the and the and the world. I'm trans and I'm shipping 20 tons of spices all over, all over, all over Africa, and I get paid before it leaves Cape Town. The the dollars is in my account, so I'm not interested in. In, in pick and pay shop trading, I'm making dollars, and and I, and I, and I sell tons at a time. You understand? So the the game has changed, and the figure changes, right? And yes, is risk, guys. There is risk in it. There you have to take a risk when you want to expand. That is the risk you take. But if you have this plan, right, and you and you're going to do it, someone is going to do it. You're going to move. Can we understand how important this is? Right? Naeem, how many, how many completed the register? Can you please check for me? How many has actually completed the, 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 the register um, on CSD automatically register? No, you're not, eh? Cisanda, you when you register on 22, uh, there's still a few more that must complete. Um, if you haven't completed the, the register, please put your email uh, address in the chat box and I will email it to you, please. You just posted the link again for those that did not complete it. Um, uh, if you cannot complete it for any reason, just put your email address and I email will send you the, the link for the registration uh, to be able to complete that. The question came from Cisanda. If, if you're on CSD, you are not automatically on the city of Cape Town. You have to register with the city of, you first register on CSD then you register on the city of Cape Town. Then you register on Western Cape government. It's all online. The same documents you're going to require on CSD, you're going to require on Western Cape government, and you're going to require that same documents on the city of Cape Town. And remember, that is a very big income stream. Okay, guys, that is a very, a very big income stream. And, the, and, the, and the, the nice thing about it is that you can do it all online. It's all online, five, 10 minutes. And, and remember, government work is, is, is the 14.8 billion just for the city, local government, uh, uh, roughly about 450 billion. This <laughs> is going out, you understand? So a lot of money is being spent there and it's and, and easy to access. If you look at all the red tape it's that, that's been taken away, it's been made easy for you to be able to do business with government. There's, there's a lot of opportunities there for, for you to be able to at least build that income stream. And guys, it's the, the, the process to register, uh, you can register online. In, in two or three days, you are registered. On Western Cape government, you can go to Ariba Trade World, fill out all the documents, the standard documents that you need, your tax documents, your BE, affidavit, go to the police station, you get it stamped, proof of address, uh, copies of IDs, you go and in two, three days you are registered and you're getting the RFQs to your own profile. Guys, it is so easy these days. You don't have to print documents and drop it in boxes. Really, you, you're doing it all online in a few minutes and you and, and you guarantee you're going to get two or three <laughs> out of 10, you understand? And, and, and the systems has been put in place for you. You can see who tended, who tended for the job, what they quoted. So you know my costing is either too high or it is too low, right? So guys, you need to make use of these opportunities. The, 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 the city, local government, they're looking for small businesses. But remember, the government entities needs to be compliant on BEE as well. You understand? So not just corporates. All government departments need to be compliant with BEE, so they need to support small businesses. They need to support small businesses. They would rather give a contract to five small businesses than give it to one big business. Because if they give it to five small businesses, they get scoring on their department BEE score. Can we understand how this works? Right? So the opportunities is huge for you. Remember, they're giving you 20 points out of 100 just for being small. So you have the advantage 
over bigger companies. So please, guys, if you are not registered, this that's at least one stream. Okay, remember that's at least one stream. It costs nothing. It costs nothing to register, right? So please, guys, it takes a little bit of time, but not a lot of time. In a week, you can the same documents you need for Western Cape government is the same documents you need for the city is the same documents that you need for CFD. So you're going to you're going to save all those documents. Faisal, you have a question? Go for it. Yes. Uh, must government and big companies be registered? Oh, sorry, other way around. I'm uh, I'm going for a travel and tourism company. I'm registering yeah. next month. Yeah. Is, I must first do the uh, CSD. Via 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 uh, it's the tour guide institute. Now, if I register and must I be on the basis of big companies or government structures for them to be able to book tickets or flights? Mm -hmm. No. So what you need to do is remember, if you want, to, firstly you need to be on CSD. So once you're registered on CSD. Remember, if you are not on CSD, that is national. So any government entity, right? You have to be on CSD first, right? So that's your first point. So they're going to need all your documents, compliance documents, uh, 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 tax documents. Make sure that you are a, a registered business. You register on CSD. Once you register on CSD, then you're going to register with local government. And as a member, the, the government cannot procure anything without a service provider. So when people move, when people buy, they can't do it. They can't pull money from treasury, which means they have to appoint someone to do it for them. So you're going to register and say, this is what I do. Then when an opportunity in that area comes, it comes directly to you. What happens before, right? Government used to, used to put their advertise, their tenders online. So they have, was on a bulletin board. And then everyone will say, I want to do this. Let's go and, and do that. Now government saying, no, it's too much work because these guys, they call them tender premiers. They don't have businesses. They just do tenders and then they outsource it. They give it to people and they make a percentage. Government say, no. They saying, if you are in, if you are in uh, transport, if you are in uh, travel, you're a travel agent and this is your industry, only those opportunities come to you. It don't go to everyone else, which, which means it's easier for you to get work because you're only competing against companies in your sector. You're not competing against construction companies because this is what used to happen. This is what used to happen before guys in construction say, oh, here's a, here's a job. I know someone that can do this. I'm going to bid on it and then I'm going to give it to them and make a percentage. They can't do that anymore. They can't do it anymore. It's, it only comes to you, comes to your profile and you complete it online. Okay. So yes. Okay. They, in certain sectors, uh, in certain sectors, there's very few suppliers. There's very few suppliers, uh, and that is still a niche, a niche sector. So there would be lots of opportunities, um, you know, for you. And and I would suggest you register before November because you know how government works. They um, they 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 wait the whole year, and then when it comes to November, then all the all the jobs go out because now they need to finish it before the before December. So this November is a very, very busy month for government. Lots and lots of work goes out uh, through the platforms uh, because they need to get it done before December. Okay. So, yeah. So I hope that answers your question. Let's just have a look. Is there any must tra travel company uh, be? Okay. I'll answer that. Okay. Uh, send his contact. Faisal, your contact details, uh, email address. Um, oh, it's for Nadia. Just put your details. Can you see we're networking with each other as well? <laughs> okay. So you can put your details. Uh, and then uh, you can just connect with Nadia Martins. Nadia okay. Martin. Yes, okay, another question? Uh, on the chat. Go for it. Okay. So, okay, now uh, next month comes. I'm now in my workshop with the Institute and be touching business plan. We're registering and we're doing the business plan. Now, can I connect with your contacts if I need maybe a uh, I want maybe one fleet of my own before I start uh, and that fleet got enough work, then I can start to outsource. So yes. if so, I want to get that fleet together, can I go to your contacts and ask them to you? I mean, it, uh, maybe this, what, what happens in, yeah, okay, let me, let me explain how this works, right? Okay. 
the, the, no one gives no one gives funding, equipment, or machinery to businesses that is starting. Startups don't get funding. Established businesses get funding and equipment. You need to be able to prove that you've done this work before. Must you must remember. Must be you must be running. You must be running. You must be able to long? deliver work at least two years. At least two years. You need to be operating for two years. You understand? Because they need to know you can do the job. They need to know you can do the job. You understand? So what you what you can do is you can partner with other organizations that has done it before. You understand? So if you have people working for you that, that you're partnering with, it's done it, it's got references, it's got experience doing what you do. Yes, they're going to do it. Because remember, they're pushing money into your business. Yeah, then I've fine. Then you can. Then you can. Oh, okay, uh, and, okay. and if you haven't registered your business yet, I would suggest buying a shelf company rather because yeah, you buy a two-year-old shelf company rather than starting a new one. Because if you buy a shelf company, at least it's operating for two years on paper, um, uh, and then you just change directors. Okay. And it change the company name also. You change the name and the directors, but then you buy one that's two years old already. Okay. Uh, through okay. company partners, so you contact company partners. You go online, you just type in company partners and you can buy a two-year-old company and then just change the name and directors. Okay. okay. Uh, I have last a question. question. Last question. Go for it. Okay. Now, uh, I've been listening to you, but I've also been listening, but I quote a lot on, but if I want to get back to a couple of points and just, can I get in contact with you again? You have my contact details. So we have a WhatsApp number that you can contact and you can contact the city as well. Do I have it? You, you will get it when you if you put oh. your email address down. So if you don't, if you haven't registered, you're not getting it. I've um, registered yet. I've if you if you if you uh, remember, not the not for the course. If you haven't signed, if you haven't completed the uh, the the attendance register, that's the link. That that Perfect. That. Then you will get it. Then you will get it. Thank you. So Edwina, you've got a question. If I'm a freelancer in your fields besides the company registered on CSD, so. Um, if you have it, if you're a freelancer, you can register as well. So remember, you, you can register in your personal capacity as a consultant, and you can also register as a PTY or NPO or NPC um, uh, as an entity on, uh, on its own, okay, besides the company. But you must remember, when you are registering on CSD, right, and you cannot compete on the same job when you're competing with government. So in other words, you can't be on two entities offering the same thing. Right. So remember, if you are a consultant and you want to register as a consultant only, so you, you're providing consulting services. You're not, dealer. let's say you're in construction, you consult, you're a consulting engineer. So you only consult, you don't do engineering, then it's fine. Then it's two entities. But you cannot be registered for the same thing uh, with government because they, you won't be able, they won't allow you to compete on the same uh, uh, tender. Uh, obviously, because you, the one can go in high and the one can go in low, so it will be unfair. So, but as long as you're doing different things, you can register both entities. You can register both entities. Okay, guys. So, can we? Um, it's now half past ten. Do you? Can we? Must we carry on, or, or are we moving too fast? Or um, can we take? You want to take a short break? You want to take a short break for ten minutes? It's up to you. You just can just put in the chat box. If you want to take a short break and we come back in 10 minutes, or if we must carry on and get it done uh, and, and finish the work by 12, you can you can tell me what you think. Remember, it's your time. It's not my time. It's your time. So you can put in the chat box we, if we must carry on or if we must take a break for 10 minutes. It's up to you. So you need to tell me. Uh, in the chat box, you can just put, um, we can break or we can, we can carry on. So I've got one that says break. Um, 10 minute break, absolutely break. Okay, it's settled. It's settled. You have spoken. <laughs> so we're going to take a, a, a 10 minute 10 minute break. You stretch your legs, uh, have something to have something to drink, some coffee, and then we come back in 10 minutes. So what's the time now? Uh, if we can, um, it's now 35 past um, by 10 to. By 10 to we back. Uh, 10 to we back. 10 to. 10 to 11, we are back. 10 to 11, so we're going to take we uh, take a 10 minute break. 10 minute break, everyone. We will see you in 10 minutes. Thank you. 10 minute break. For those that did not complete the register, uh, uh, please complete it now.
10 minute break guys. Okay, so we'll see you in 10 minutes and we're back here in 10 minutes. Thank you. Take your stretch your legs and, and we're back. If you have any questions, we'll go through the questions when you get back. If you have not completed the register, um, there's a feedback form and a register. Uh, if, you, if you want to, instead of taking your break, try and complete the feedback form. You can complete it now, but we'll give you an opportunity at the end to complete the feedback form as well. But the register must be completed before you leave. If you have not completed it, um, please complete it now or put your email address and I will send it to you. Everyone else can take a break and we will be back in 10 minutes. So 10 to we're back. Hello. Thank you guys. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm wasted the, 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 the phone. The link is in the chat box. If you go to the chat okay. box, if you go to the chat box, you'll see there, there's two links. The one says register. You click on the blue link and you can complete it. And the other one says feedback. The, the register is, okay. the, is the most important one. So click on the register form and then complete that to say that you were here and then we'll send you the PowerPoint, okay? And all Thank the information. You Thank you. Yes. If, you have any, if you have any problems, just put a, a type a message and I will send it to you if you're having a problem. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Naeem, can you just check how many completed the register, please?
Okay, guys, we're going to start shortly in one more minute. We'll start in one minute. Uh, Naeem, can you just check uh, how many completed the, the register? If you, if you can just check um, who completed and if you can see um, those that is, that is still part of the session who didn't complete, um, you can contact them directly, please. Just contact those that did not complete. Sandra, do you have a question, Sandra? Yes, good morning. Um, I just wanted to check. Um, I just missed the last um, question. Apparently, a gentleman asked a question um, yeah. and I missed it. And so we are a small business, um, a starter business. And yeah. I, the first question is, both myself and my husband are attending this morning yeah. this one yeah yeah um and um but we're using one phone so i've registered for both of us that's fine, on, that's fine. On, you can that's both, fine you can you can both register you can both register. okay that's fine because they will be just me. yeah so if both of you register it's fine okay then the Great. other question i'm going to ask a lot of questions okay. but the first question is i wanted to ask we're still waiting so for the small. others so you can go for it <laughs> okay it's fine so we attended the Big Five concert yesterday, the last two days. Okay. And as a startup, it was very, very valuable for me because in the business that we're doing, my husband is, is um, my husband is, uh, I mean, the, we are co-owners in the business. So for me, the thing that I'm wanting to find out, we've been having a lot of conversation. And because we are a startup, everybody says, you know, go here, go there, go there, and that will help you, that will help you. However, as a business, we don't have credibility. So okay. if we want to go and knock on any door for business, if we haven't done any job, if it's our first job that we're tendering for, yes. what advice would you give us? Look, the you, you need to you have two choices, right? This is this is what you need to because remember, you to do work either with government or with corporate, they want companies with experience, right? So your choice your choice is this: if you if you don't have the experience for the company itself, right, then you the 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 members of the organization or employees of the organization or consultants of the organization needs to have the experience, right? So which means that if you have an SLA, right, a service level agreement with a consultant with experience with references, then that obviously you would need to use that as part of your experience for your organization is people. So you're going to tie them to your organization through the SLA, but it's not very important for the city. This, if you're doing work for the city, they, they or government, they need to understand where the risk is, because if you don't deliver, who's responsible? Do you understand? So the only way that you can tie them is if you take full ownership if anything goes wrong in the SLA. So you're taking the responsibility, even though someone else is actually delivering the work and you're using their experience and their references. So that is that is the, 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 the one way to do it, right? To add experience um, without the business having experience is the, is the consultants working for the organization use their experience. The other way is to deliver services, even if it's uh, uh, for free, because this is how we did it. I mean, we started doing um, development and mentoring and coaching for youth, but we didn't have any experience whatsoever. We we were fresh and and we 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 participated in a in an event that was sponsored by APSA. Um, it was a youth event in Krabo for three hundred youth, and we then said, look, we we would like to assist. Um, and and, and co-sponsor, even though we were very small and, and we did it for free, but uh, we, we, we got a reference from APSA that gave us an actual reference that participated in that event. And they, obviously they don't know that we did it for free. So, so you would need to deliver services and do work, even though 
yeah, uh, uh, to, to, to get those references, you have to start somewhere. So I would suggest then just doing doing projects and doing work and then using that as references. Uh, because, I mean, we got, when we started that first job we did, we did it for nothing, but obviously no one knows that we did it for nothing. We got other jobs um, through other through all the other banks because of that. You understand? So this is how, this is two ways in which you can do it. Um, um, yeah, do projects for free and, and use references. And then uh, the other is bring experienced consultants in um, to your business and you use their references. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you, it does. Thank you so much for that answer. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, JB, you, we're going to send you a copy of the recording as well. So um, if, because I know that I, I talk quite fast and, and yeah, I move through the content very quickly. So if you miss anything, uh, we will send you a recording and you'll get the, you'll, you'll get the video recording as well. You can uh, go and just watch it again. Uh, so we'll send you the link for the, for the YouTube for this video. We'll send you the PowerPoint. Um, and any information um, to, for the, that you might need, we'll, we'll, we'll send you via email. Great. Uh, let me just check if there's any more questions. Um, um, uh, everyone has completed the registers. Thank you very much. Uh, great. So we, we carrying on. If you're back, you can just give a thumbs up or just hi um, back. Then I know that you are back because we're going to start now and we want to get done. Um, uh, we're going to try and push through to get everything done by 12 o'clock. Um, um, thank you, Nasli, you're back. Uh, Celeste, you're back. Thank you. Tinda, you're back. Nadia, you're back. Um, wonderful. So we're going to get started and we're going to move as quickly as we can to try and finish by, uh, uh, by 12 if possible. Okay. So we've, we've covered the importance of this, but this is a very, very important section. It's how people buy. It's how people buy. And, and you need to understand that you, you, when you're selling your business, that's one of the most critical things. You're not going to be successful in a business if you cannot sell it, right? So that, that is very, very important. So you need to understand that people buy differently, right? So in other words, you have different people, right, that buys differently, and, and, and they make a decision to be able to purchase a service or a product for different reasons. So, so you cannot have one approach to be able to sell. You need to understand who's buying first before you can sell. And you need to be able to package your business differently according to who is buying. Okay, I'm going to say that again, okay? You're going to package your business differently depending on who you're selling to, right? And I'm going to explain what I mean when I say that, okay? So, so let's say, for instance, right, you're selling, um, you're selling these items. So this is what you, this is what you sell. So you're selling this, you're selling this pen, right? So if I'm selling this, this pen, this pen specifically to someone that is this per, the first person here, that is the business perfectionist. That is someone that, that wants quality product, a quality service. They don't mind paying for it. They don't mind paying for it, but they are expecting a lot. They would rather want a, a, a Rolls Royce instead of a Ford. Okay, so that is the person that is going to buy. If I'm speaking to that person, obviously, I, the, the price is not important, but the quality, what you're using, how long the spin is going to last, it's guaranteed, it's a, it's a, 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 it's a famous brand, it's a Parker pin, um, you know, it's, it's got a history, um, it's going to last you a lifetime. It's, it's a very, very good pen and, 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 and all of that. That's what the, and the price, not really important to that person. The quality is important to that because that's the perfection. So if you are in construction, if you are in services or whatever, they want that experience, they want the quality and they don't mind paying. You have the next person. That is the, that's the person on the right. <clears throat> Save my budget. That, I want cheap. <laughs> you know, I, I don't mind doing away with some of the functionality, you know. Um, I don't mind doing away with that. I would, and it doesn't matter if it's, if it's not maybe going to last uh, as long. But I, I don't have a big budget right now, and, and I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. I want cheap. If I can get it cheap, right, and if I can get an opportunity to get a ten percent discount 
if I purchase right now, right? If I purchase it now, I'm going to get 10. If I wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay 10% more. Those are the people that want cheap. They want a, a, a good price, the cheapest price that they can get for it. And they're willing to buy based on that, right? So now you know cost is an issue. And if you can get materials at a lower cost um, and, and you can get services at a lower cost, you'll be able to sell very, very quickly and, and a lot more um, products um, uh, with these type of buyers. Then you get your technical ID idealist. Okay. Now those are those are people, and you and you're gonna come across them immediately when you hear them because they're gonna have a lot of questions. They want to have the specs, the specs of the product, the specs of the service, the methodology of the service how you plan to do it, how long it's going to take, who is going to do it, what are you going to do, right? They want the detail. They want the detail. So they cannot make a decision. You need to understand how this works. Remember, you want a decision. You want someone to be able to make a decision to buy from you, right? To purchase from you, to give you a contract but they are different people and they want different things. So if you are speaking to this person, a technical idea, they're going to ask you a lot of questions. You have to give them all that information before they can make a decision. Yes, they need to know what it is. They need to know how long it's going to last. They need to know how is it going to be done. They need the methodology. They need the breakdown of what it is. All that information they need up front. Right, so you're not giving them a pen, you're giving them the specs of this pen, you're giving them a, the specs of this pen and that detail. Okay, and that detail, right? Very, very important. Or you have the last person over there. Save my career. Save my career. Now, I need to explain what that is. If you are speaking to someone that is a go getter, right, in a work, remember the person has a job. But that person wants to move, wants to move, wants to move, right? That person wants to move, want to be successful in their work environment, right? They want that bonus. They want that bonus at the end of the year, okay? So if they are transformation manager, they are a young person that is in a role and they want to impress, you need to understand how that, what is important for that person to be able to buy this pen. Because if they are putting, they taking a risk on you, right? They don't really care about the price of it. They do not really care. They don't really care about the specs, the detail of it. No, they don't care about that. They're not a perfectionist. So they're not a perfectionist. They're not someone that wants it for cheap. The, they don't care about all the details and how you get it. What they care about is, are you able to deliver this? Can you supply 10,000 units of this product because if you're not able to do that, I'm going to get into trouble, you understand, as a, as a transformation manager because I want to move forward in my organization. So I need to be, I need to rest assured that you have the experience and you're going to grow. If I give you this contract, you are going to grow and create two or three more jobs and I have confidence in your ability as an entrepreneur to move that organization forward. That's why they're not actually interested in the pen. They are interested in you. Can we see the difference, right? This is why when you speak to transformation managers or buyers, they want to meet you. They want to meet you. They want to get that passion. They want to see that drive because they know if you are, uh, 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 you have that leadership quality, you have that, that drive to move forward, they are going to support you as a transformation manager. And that's why they want to meet. And, and they make up their mind in two minutes. They see this is a mover, right? And they know you're going to move. And they feel that they have that trust in you that you can, that you can do it, right? They're going to give you the order. You know, give me 10,000 10, of this. We'll take 10,000 of this units. Easy because they trust you. Can we see? the different type of bias, the different type of bias. You need to understand this very, very quick, and in the, which is why when you're speaking to people and you're discussing, you don't sell immediately. Guys, you don't sell. You don't meet someone for the first time, and the first thing you do, uh, do, you, do you need this? 
No, this is not how you first need to understand who you're talking to. You first build the relationship. You first build the relationship, then you sell. Then you sell. Because the reason why you do that, now you know who you're selling to. Now you know this person is more into the career. This person needs the detail. This person needs low price. Now you say, okay, great. This is what I offer, right? And, and it's very, very important to do that because let's say, for instance, right? Let's say, for instance, this, right? This is what, this is what you sell. This is what you, what you offer. You offer this, right? And if you go there and you say, oh, this, is what I'm, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm selling, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, 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 obviously uh, uh, sell you this and they don't need this right? The answer is going to be no. If you're not giving them a response on what they need, remember, if they need a saving, if you're not going to give them something to save, the answer is no. If they're perfectionist and you're not going to give them a quality, it's going to be no. If they're an, a, a technical person, you're not giving them the specs, the answer is no. And if they, the, uh, if they don't have the confidence that you can supply, uh, the answer is no. But if you build a relationship and you eventually you find out that they don't want this, they want this right so so this is what they want they want this right then what you go if you're not selling because if you sell this and you say this is what i do <laughs> i only do this right then they're gonna oh, i don't need it but if you don't tell them what you do you're not gonna you don't tell them that this is this is what you specialize you're gonna just find out this is what they do and i and we need this right now this is what we need right we need a lot of this right now then what you're going to do is you're going to turn around, right? You're going to turn around and you're going to, and you're going to come back to them and you're going to say, you know what? This is exactly what we do. And we can do this for you. Okay. We can do this for you. Let us help you do this. Right. And then you're going to do that. You're going to give them that because this is what they want. And remember, if you want to get into corporates, you just want to get in. Listen, you just want to get in. And if this is your way in, this is what you need to do. And we've done the same thing. You know, we started working for organizations. We would, wanted to do skills development. We wanted to do mentoring. And we ended up doing other things. We ended up doing catering for the short while. We ended up doing assessments and other things for, 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 for time to get in to do the eventual thing. Because once you have the relationship, okay, great. I helped you do this and I've got this done for you. Yeah, and I supply this. Then you can come back later on. Now you have the relationship already. They're happy with the services. And you can say, you know what? We also do this. We also do this. We know we have this also. Okay, no problem. Give me, it might take some of that as well. You understand? But and, and this is how we get in. Remember, all you want to do is open the door. This is this is what you need. This is why. You build the relationship and you understand what the needs are. And you understand what the needs are. You just want to open the door. We're we'll completing the feedback form now in case I don't. Thank you, Amanda. And I know that there's load shedding. <laughs> there's load shedding coming. So if you do have load shedding that's coming up, and remember, we will, if you sign the register, there's no problem. We will send you the, 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 the link for the full presentation uh, uh, as well. So you will get it. Thank you very much. And uh, for just in case those that are, are leaving, we have an, uh, a, a follow-up session on this one on the 11th of November. It is still long. It's 11th of November. It's a, it's a high-impact webinar that we're doing our st strategic plan for 2023. Okay. And we're doing it during that time, 11th of November, because the, the, the best time to connect with transformation managers and with these organizers is over December. Guys, December is the time to connect with people, right? On social media, on LinkedIn, because they are relaxed. They are relaxed. They are not busy with operations, which they do throughout the year, okay? So you, December time is the time when you are networking, where you are connecting and you're setting up your meetings for Jan. So we're going to go through that process. Uh, um, on the 11th, and Naim um, and Sipiu will send you the invite to that session. It's, it's a follow-up on this session, um, and we're going to look at putting that plan in place for 2023, so you guys don't want to uh, miss that one. 
uh, 11th of November is, is that. And that will be the last workshop for the year. The next workshops will be only in uh, end of January again. Okay. Let me just check if there's any more questions. Uh, that's fine. Okay. So we're carrying on. So funding that is available, obviously a big area, a big area for, for business is how to access funding. So firstly, if you have a corporate order, a purchase order from a corporate company, blue chip corporate company, or a government entity, or a government entity, you can access over 80%, 80% of the value of that contract up front. Faisal, is it the old hand or is it the new hand? It's a new hand. Okay, go for it. Uh, I was told to pick up, was it with Nadia or with Nadia? Uh, it was Nadia. Nadia. It was, okay, it was Nadia. You can just send an send a inbox message. Yeah, I sent that because I'm holding on. For, okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So, so these are funding organizations, right, that offers funding government, different types of funding that is available for you. So we get, obviously, these government grants that is offered by government. For Remember, it's government's number one priority. If you look on the government's strategic plan, job creation is number one. Why? People have jobs, businesses, small businesses are growing, economies are thriving will be better, it's better. So there's a lot of focus. There's a lot of focus on creating jobs. It's the number one priority in government and assisting business. So there's funding available for you, different types of funding available for you as a small, but that you can access. Yes, it is some, it's, it's some is easier than others to access and some cost money and some doesn't cost money. Okay, so there's different types of investors also. Okay, besides the government funding, there's angel investors. There's lots of people with money that, that, and the thing with money, people that has a lot of money, they want more. They like it, right? So, but they don't always have the ideas. They don't always have the business. And they don't want to do it themselves. They would rather take the money, put it into a business, especially businesses that niche ICT sectors. Because they have businesses that, that literally starts starts in two years, it's worth 100 million. And, and, and this is how the, the, the businesses has changed over the years. So investors, yes, they sit with money and they want to put that money into a business um, that is growing. Um, so you have angel investors, they, they, want, they, they, they don't want to be part of the business. They come in, they want the return on investment. As long as it's higher than the bank, they are happy. So they give you 1 million. They say, fine, uh, 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 when you, when you, uh, after a year, you give me 1.2 million. I take my 200,000 rands profit and I leave. That's it. You get impact investors. They put in a percent, uh, they put the money into your business, but they benefit from growth. As your business grow, they benefit. Crowdfunding is very popular these days. It's because you might not find people with a lot of money to invest, but you have Instead of one major investor, you have maybe 50 small businesses that put a, a small amount into your business and they benefit from growth, which means you give them a share of growth. As your business grows, you share, the, sh you share the, 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 the profit with them. Okay, Venture capital as well, they, they want to share. They want a piece of your business and you know these guys, venture capitalists, they invest in other different, uh, a whole lot of other different things. Um, and they take your money and they give you a share of profits. Obviously, there's risks involved with that type of funding. But yeah, you obviously need to weigh your options. Bank finance, we all know, but I, I put it there because remember, even banks, right? You need to understand this, that banks also has enterprise and supply development funding, which means banks need to be compliant. So APSA has an ESD fund a special fund that you don't need security. You don't need collateral. You don't have to put your house up. If you, if you want to buy, let's say you're supplying laptops and you need to buy that laptops to be able to supply it, they will pay for the laptops. So they pay for the laptop. Go there. They will buy the laptops for you. You can then deliver the laptops to the client um, and get your money and then pay that money back. Yes, pay the money back, but you don't have to give collateral for it because the bank is taking risk. The bank is willing to take risk 
and that risk, they're getting recognition for that risk on their BEE scorecard. So that's part of ESD spend, which is a special, special fund. So you're obviously not going to go to your normal banker. You're going to speak with the, with the transformation manager, someone that is in charge of APSA. So APSA has a 400 billion rand fund that you can access, special funding, special funding that you can access for scaling and growing your business. If you want to scale and grow your business, if you have a contract, you can access that funding. Um, you can uh, 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 pay your creditors and people that, that's working for you, and then uh, um, uh, you just pay it back at the end, right? And you, you don't need co uh, collateral for that. They're willing to take this private equity. People want a share of growth. You know these guys, they, they like Dragon's Den. You've seen these programs on TV. They want a piece of it. They want a piece, right? So we, I, always, I always suggest, right? But remember, yes, you want to grow your business, but you don't want to give a big chunk away because... <laughs> Remember, the, the, as your business grows, the value increases, multiplies exponentially, right? So in the longer you keep your equity, the better. So do, when you start, do things yourself, grow your business, grow your database, grow your platforms. It doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of money, but it takes a lot of time. Do those things first before you give, you give equity away. Because if you're giving 20% and saying, you know what? I'm gonna. I, I, I'll give you twenty percent of my business, um, and, and I need you know for a uh, hundred thousand or uh, five hundred thousand rands or whatever the case may be to get off the ground. You know, uh, if you wait a year or wait two years, right? That twenty percent is worth ten million. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you want to wait as long as possible before you get before you uh, 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 get rid of equity. In your, in your business. We have debt financing as well. Lots of that is available. to be able to consolidate debt, but you must remember debt, uh, the certain finance costs. So in other words, not all finance is free. Grants, free. So 100%. You, have, they're gonna, you don't have to give it back. You can apply for it, but it takes a little bit of time to apply. So IDC have funding, DTI have funding, right? Uh, different types of funding. Uh, some of them has cost sharing, which means they cover a percentage. They will cover 50%. You cover 50%. If you need a machine, you pay half. They pay half. If you need vehicles, they pay half. You pay half. Lo lots and lots of those type of funding is available to the government. There's lots of incentives uh, for go uh, that government offers as well. If you're able to upskill someone which is unemployed, right? A lot of people don't know this, that you know, a skills levy, right? Every single person that's employed, a percentage of their, of their income is taken and put into the skills levy. That's for upskilling employed or unemployed people, right? Which means that if you have someone that's unemployed and you upskill that person, you get, government gives you a rebate up to 60,000 rands per person tax rebate, which is incentives from government. If you employ someone in your organization uh, in your organization that was unemployed and you upskill that person, there's incentives. You take an intern, an intern into your business and you bring that intern in, there's opportunities obviously for you to, 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 to benefit from incentives through government. Okay. So the, the different types of government of, of funding that's available, we've listed a few here, right? We listed a few here, right? What I would suggest, right? There, there is so much funding. So National Youth Development Aid, if you're young and, and youth for, for, for government is 35 or under. So if you're 35 or under, you are still regarded as a young person. So you can apply for the National Youth Development Agency, 350,000 lands, your business plan, development plans, uh, uh, cost for getting started, all of those fully funded, fully funded grant funding. You don't pay it back. It's money invested into your business. All you need to be is young and you need to have an idea. It doesn't need to be an established. You could just have an idea, a concept that you want to, and they will assist you in developing that. DTI, Department of Trade and Industry, sitting over a billion rands that needs to be spent uh, also on development that cover infrastructure, equipment, machinery, National Empowerment Fund also funding for small businesses they have about four or five funds small enterprise and financial agency um they of they take they take risk and you that yes you need to pay the funding back but it is the cheapest funding that you will find in south africa so it's the cheapest 
funding that you will find in South you won't get cheaper than that because they in it's a government entity. They're not there to make money. They're there to offer finance and they're there to take risks, which means if you have a government order, they will give you 80% without a lot of, without surety, they're willing to take the risk. And you can, once you deliver those, the, 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 the goods and the services, you pay their, you pay their, um, their loans back over a period that's easy for you to be able to do and manage. Remember, it's government. It's government. CEDA, business plans, all of those things, costing. So if you go there, you need to have a cost flow projection. So they want a cost flow, cash flow projection. If you don't have that, they're going to send you to CEDA because they can do it for you, right? At their cost. So they pay for it. They will do your cost analysis. They will do your business plan. They will do your website. They will do your brochures. Those things cost money. Everything costs money. And it's, 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 when you look at the website and the assistance, you're going to get top quality. Guys, it is top quality. If you were to pay 50, 20 grand for those, you're getting it free. All you need to do, you go to your local Cedar office. They will help you. They will help you set up the business, set up the cash flow projections. If those are things which you have not done and you need help doing Right? It's available for you in your area. So they're all over the place. It's in Balboa, it's in town. Go to the nearest one and you schedule a meeting with a consultant. Remember, they get paid to help you. They get paid to help you with your business. It is services offered by government. And once, you've, once they've helped you package your business, they will then send you to see if it's funding that you need. And they will help you prepare your pack and your application. Right? Remember, they're going to help you to do that okay because remember that is part of services that they need to off offer idc as well if you need equipment and machinery technology if you, anything in tech anything anything in tech anything new if you have a concept or a design you know and and you need to patent that it costs money if you want to paint it an idea or concept cost money tier covers the cost of that Okay, they have specialists in their sectors that, and, and they're willing to, 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 to participate and assist you with regard to the special skills that you will need um, in those sectors. They have specialists in those sectors. That we, and remember, fully funded. Fully funded. You don't even need to have <laughs> the, the full business yet. You just have your concept. They will be assist you in developing prototypes, which cost money. So those are things that you're gonna obviously make make access to, uh, get access to, and do that. Department of Economic Development. All districts have them. They are all running programs, running projects. Everyone is assisting in creating jobs. Remember, you need to go to them, right? You need to go to them. So remember, funding either costs time or money, and I'll explain what I mean by saying it costs time or money, right? So. Either it's free, right? In other words, it's grant funding, but then it takes time. If you put an application with IDC for equipment, you, you can wait. Guys, you're going to wait long for that. Why? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of documents they require. There's a lot of process because it's free. Everyone is applying for it. You understand? So you're going to wait time. It's going to take time, but when you get it, it might take a year. It might take six months. It might take two years. I mean, the, it's, you're getting it, uh, uh, but it's grant funding. Or you can get money right now, right? So you can go to see if you can get it at least. You can need to pay it back at a very low rate. Or uh, our economy is wait for CIFA. In other words, you don't want to wait for CIFA. And then you can go to over 25 other organizations. You can get it in two or three days right now, right? But obviously, you're going to pay for it, right? So remember, the more risk the funder has, the more you're going to pay, which means that if I have an order now, I got an order, I need to deliver this in, in two or three days, but I, obviously I need the cash flow and I need to buy it. I need to go and deliver it to the client and I get my money and I can pay it back. No problem. I don't mind paying for that. I'll pay for that per day, right? For that, for that money, I can get it easily. So I can go to Lula Land, you, you'll, you'll see there's lots of these organizations that offers that type of finance, right? But they're going to charge you a lot of money. They're going to charge you a lot of money. And you have to pay it back over a short period of time. It's not long-term finance, but it's going to cost you money. Okay. Faisal, is it the new hand or is it the old hand? It's a new hand. Go for it. Uh, 
is the a department that helps you maybe with a uh, website designing? Yes, I see. I just mentioned it now. Cida. Cida. So you go Cida. 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 Yeah. Okay. Cida. Okay. Cida. Do your websites, everything for you, up to fifteen thousand rands per website. That's will be okay. Yeah. Okay. So remember, guys, though that you you don't go to fund to to access funding when you need it desperately, right? Remember, you're in business. There's times where you need cash flow, right? You don't go there last minute. You get this contract now. Now I need to go and find where am I going to get my money? I applied for, for the tender. Now I got it. I need cash flow now. You go when you don't need it. So in other words, now you go now. You 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 set up the meeting with with CIFA. You you speak to Sean Charlie, who's, who's, who's head of regional manager for CIFA. You find out what is the criteria. You find out what does the application look like. What do you need? What documents do you need? What is it going to cost me? Right? You do that upfront, not one. You go to all of them. So you go to NEF. You go to CIFA. Right? You go to IDC. You go to GDAT. You find out what are they offering. What finance is available for me? What cash flow is available for me? Now you have options. Now you have options. When you need it, I know I can go there. It's going to cost me X amount. And I can factor the cost of the finance into my quote. Can we understand the cost of that finance? If you can access any amount of cash flow at a cost, right? At a cost. And you factor the cost of that into your quotations, then what's the problem? Why do you need to worry about that? You factor it in and you're making money. If you don't factor it in, right, then yeah, it's going to be risky because now if you haven't factored the cost of finance in and now you have to pay for finance per day, then it's going to cost you a lot of money and it's taking away from your profit. Do you understand? But if you factor it in, right, the cost of the finance as well is covered, but you need to know what you need, how long it takes. When do you meet to make a decision? What do I need? Can I submit everything online? That's the information that you're going to find out now, right? And if, you, if you're not clear what is available, the criteria, right? So I would suggest going on Westgrid. I'm going to type it in the chat box, can I? So I'm going to type it in the, in the chat box. Is Westgrid, right? Westgrid. So if you go on uh, 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 the Westgrid website, Okay, um, type it again. I think I just sent it to Naeem. Westgrow, okay, Westgrow, and right, you will see on Westgrow, they have a finance app, a finance app, right, on Westgrow on the website, okay, where you can, uh, you all you do is you put in. The type of funding, maybe you don't just get funding. Funding is for a reason. So it's funding for equipment, funding for growing, funding for scaling, funding for startup. You say what you require the funding for and how much funding that you need, right? And they're going to ask you some questions on your business. They want to know what industry you're in, how long you're operating, blah, blah, blah. You're going to fill out all of that. It's going to then kick out, right? There's a more than... 80 organizations, 80 funding organizations that will that will be able to offer you that type of funding. If it's companies that you don't fulfill the criteria. Oh, a CPU has just sent the link. Thank you, CPU. Uh, he just sent the link for Invest Fund. That's on Westgrow. That is the link. You can copy that link and you can actually go on it. Okay. Then you're going to... You're going to be excluded. In other words, if you don't fulfill the criteria, it's not going to show you the contact details, right? So it's going to give you a list of all the funding organizations that you can contact with their contact numbers, right? So there's, there's some that will, that says, you know what, we, if you're not operating for two years, you, you're going to be excluded. There's some that says, if you're in construction, we don't want to fund, I don't know why they say they don't want, they, could, they won't give funding to construction companies. Maybe they had some bad experiences, <laughs> I don't know. But they will say, if you're in construction, we're not going to give you finance. So if you're in construction, you will, you will simply exclude those ones. It's going to give you then a list, 5, 10, 20, 50, these are, and then you can contact them uh, to, to, to put applications through for funding, but it give you a list. So it's a nice, a nice way to get a full list of what funding is available to you. Okay. So there's over 80 organizations on there, but remember 
you only access funding when you need it. We run turnaround for, for the DTI and Department of Labor um, for CIFA as well. And a lot of the companies, a lot of the companies um, that applies for funding are not ready for funding. So remember, if you are not ready for funding, don't apply, carry on, <laughs> carry on and for as long as possible, right? You only apply for funding when you are ready for the funding. Uh, uh, so, and put all the applications through. So don't apply for one, you want choices. Guy, choices, you need to have choices, options to say, I can go for this one or this one or this one. You don't want to, to be desperate when you're applying for it because then you're just gonna take the first one that comes even though it is very costly. Okay, even though it is very costly. Thank you for sharing, Sipiu. The link is there. Just copy the link in the chat box. Uh, you can save it um, or, uh, uh, um, or, or just uh, uh, go into the link itself so that it's on your laptop or, 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 or tablet. Okay, we're moving on. Okay. Okay, so your business plan, guys, Remember the, the, the template that we covered earlier, right? It shows, it shows your business plan. This is how you plan to grow your business, right? You need to have, you need to have done this work. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to share a template with you. So I'll share a, a, a simple template in Word that will allow you to actually Put down your plan on paper. The reason why you want it on paper is because you want you want to be able to, 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 to grow the business and you want people to come in to assist you. So you need to have a plan of, you need to have a plan of action, right? Very, very clear because remember, there's lots and lots of things that needs to happen. So your marketing plan, your sales plan, your funding request plan, all of those things needs to happen at any point in time within your business. And this is the challenge. If you're a small business and you're doing everything when work comes, now you've got a little, you've got a job, you end up getting stuck in the operations. So now that I'm busy doing everything, right? And when you're doing everything, which means you're doing the work, you're doing the operations, you are not doing the other things. Because remember, in a business, even the operations is carrying on, all the things, marketing, sales, right, research, those are all things which needs to happen all the time, it's not something that is once off and now it's done. You need to be doing it all the time, which is why you need to put it down in a plan. And then you need to review the plan every month and, and look at it and say, well, great, have, what have I done this month? Have I done analysis? What is my, am I still competitive? You know, am I still competitive, right? With others in the industry, right? Uh, uh, have I done my marketing? How many more people knows what I do? Because you need to have a database of people that knows what you do. Every business should have between five and 25,000 businesses in there. Yes, they're not buying yet from you. They're not, they haven't purchased, but they know what to do. If you give them your brand, you ask, have you heard of this company? They must be able to say, yes, I've heard of them. I know they do this, right? So that is what you need to be growing. And they need to be a focus on them. That is where this document comes. It's an actual document. So I'll send you a Word document and you, with the headings, with the headings on. All you need to do is populate it. Okay. The BE codes, we're not going to go into it in detail, but I wanted you to see where the bonus points is. So with corporates and government, there's bonus points. You'll see bonus points for procurement. Right, there's bonus points for enterprise development, just so that you understand what procurement is. So in other words, if you're a small black owned business, right, if you're a small black owned business, by procuring things, remember they're not giving you a development program. They're not giving you, they're just buying from you, right? They get points on this scorecard if you're a small business, right? So they get points by buying from you and then they also get points by spending money on you and growing your business. This is how they access points on their scorecard. Okay, this is how they access points on their scorecard. Okay, so we're gonna we, we we're not gonna go through the marketing strategy now. Identifying risks. We're not gonna go through all of that. I think we can cover that on the on the eleventh. We'll cover uh, more of that. Team dynamics is something which which we I'm gonna send you guys a link. 
What we're saying by team dynamics, and we'll, we'll touch on this um, on the 11th as well, okay, 11th of November, but what we're saying that you need to understand, firstly, your strength, what you're good at, right? And, and the reason why I say that is because where you position yourself in your organization is the most important thing because it impacts on your strategy, which means, right, if I have two businesses, the exact same signs, the exact same business, two businesses, there they are, right? But the people driving those businesses, in other words, the owners and directors, their personality and strengths are different. So the one, the one is a marketing person, right? Uh, uh, and the one is a finance person. The other business is the finance. The marketing business, very well promoted. Their sales are very, very good, but they might not be making that much money. Okay, and they're all over the place, very disorganized. The other company who is, who is very good at, 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 uh, uh, at, uh, at the finances and, and the costing and all of that, they're making money, um, uh, but they are not very well marketed because it's based on the personalities, on the strengths and weaknesses of the main people, the directors driving that organization. So what we're saying is your strategy right that's best for you is dependent on your strengths and weaknesses and 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 that is the strategy that you need to follow but you need to know exactly who you are what you're good at and what you're not that good at because that's going to determine the person you need right next to you right to be able to grow your business so i'm going to send you guys a link to do a personality assessment okay um, and once you've completed that uh, uh, immediate, it'll take you like 10 minutes to do it. Once you've done it, it's going to give you a one-page report and a more in-depth report that's going to e explain exactly what you, where you should be positioning yourself within your business and the things that you should be focusing on and also the person you need next to you within your business. Because remember, you need someone opposite to you, which means if you are... Let's say, for example, the, 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 the high energy, chatty, creative type of person, right? And that is like this guy over here, uh, Richard Branson, Virgin and Google, very innovative, very creative type of person, right? You would not normally be in areas of, of design. So you'll be a graphic designer, you'll be an artist or, or, or creative type of person. Those are areas which you're going to focus on. And you will want a business which is changing and evolving, not staying the same. Okay, so you want change or you're going to get bored. The challenge is that people have, they have strengths and weaknesses, which is why this guy at the bottom here, Richard Branson, has over 200 companies. He doesn't run them because he gets bored and then he starts another company. You understand? So the, you need to have very good managers. If you, are, if you are this person, you need to have someone managing your business. Uh, you are not the best person to do that. As say, same as this person over here. You guys all know who she is. So she's Oprah Winfrey. She's a marketing sales person, chatty, high energy type of person. So these are your sales people, right? So if you are a natural salesperson, remember, you don't have to, you don't have to tell a salesperson how to sell. They do it naturally right? These are the people that's going to nurture relationships. They're very good at, at speaking uh, and, and networking and building that funnel, you know, that funnel of new opportunities, new businesses that's coming to you. So you need to understand how this impacts on your business. If you look at MTN, yes, it's driven off high energy marketing people. It's a totally different strategy to Vodacom, which is let's plant roots, let's stabilize ourselves. And MTN says, no, we just want to spread. We want to connect high energy teams, got young people in, which is why MTN is the number one service provider because they've gone into Africa. They've taken over Africa. You understand? Totally different strategy to the others. So this is why we're saying you need to be very, very clear on what your strategy is, on what your strategy is. Okay. So what you're going to do is, guys, you're going to do the assessment, not only for yourself, you're going to do the assessment 
for your whole team. <laughs> Those are people that you're either currently working with, okay? So if you're in the business and your spouse is in the, you're both going to do it, right? If you have someone already employed in your business, they're going to do it as well, everyone. And if you're thinking of bringing someone on board into your business, they're going to do the assessment as well. Why? Because you need to create this. You need to create this. You need to create a business with different types of people that is fitting in very, very nicely to each other. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully you are on the one side and your partner in your business is on the other side because then you'll have a very good balance of, of both because you need both strengths. You need people working at their strength within their business, right? And then this guy over here, he's your metal. So that is your person referred to as metal, your finance person. That is the person keeping track of the numbers, not the best person to talk to. You know, they are the ones that are, are, are very shy. They're not talkative. They're introverted, but they're very good at the numbers. They're very good at data research and risk, assessing risk which is why these organizations like McDonald's, they don't have a lot of staff. People think McDonald's is a global brand, but there's only 26 staff in the whole of South Africa. Yes, because they are franchised. They're not there to actually, you know, mark. They, they their own property. They, they, that's how McDonald's make money. They don't make money from burgers. You understand? So, but the system is important. So they have a system that is there. Then they understood this from the start. They were very good at that. Same with Apple. They're about perfecting it. They're about perfecting it, not coming up with the, with the concepts like Microsoft. They, uh, uh, they're about making things better, right? And that's what these guys do. So if you have this person in finance, great, you're going to make money. And remember, they need to be a balance. You need to have the balance. You need to have the, the discussions with these guys, the ones saying, no, we can't take the risk. And then your, your marketing person, yes, we can take the risk. We have to do this. You need to have that type of dynamics in your team because if you have this person running it, they're not going to take a risk. You need to understand these guys, these metal. Do not take risks. You're going to grow very, very slowly. You know, And we see this in businesses that is, is established for 10 years. I'm saying you, you're moving so slow because you don't want to take any risks. You understand? And then we see other businesses that is driven by fire energy, that's driven by your marketing people. They just move very, very fast because they're willing to take more risk. They need to be a balance. They need to be a balance in your business. And once you have it, you're going to move. You're going to move very, very fast. Once you've created that, okay, once you've created it, you, you can't stop that organization. You really can't. They just, they move very, very fast. But you have to put the team together. You have to put the team together. No one else can do that. Remember, you have the vision of where you want to be. You have the target on what you want. You're going to build the streams uh, 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 in your document that we've discussed earlier. You're going to put it on that piece of paper. And then you're going to build the team to do that. But remember, <laughs> you don't just need any team. You need marketing people that, that can do things better than you. If you are not a marketing person, you can't tell. You don't want to have to tell that person. You want that person to tell you, this is what we need to do. That's the person you need. You don't want someone that you need to tell them what to do. That person is not going to add value to your business. You need to bring someone in that can tell you, you know what? This is what we need to do. Yeah. You understand? This is what we need to do. Yeah right? That is the people that you need in your business. And those are the people that's going to move your organization very, very quickly forward. Um, uh, uh, so you, you need to have a very, very clear focus and drive to put the right people together within your organization. Okay. So this is the link, www.fiveinstitute.com. You can take it out now, right? Or I will send you the PowerPoint as well. So you can do it, but if you want to do it, uh, uh, immediately, even later today, you can just go on www.fiveinstitute.com and you can click uh, the vitality test. You put in your email address and you'll get a password to log in um, and you can do your assessment immediately when you're done. It's going to give you the report. Remember, your, your staff is going to do it 
as well. And once you have it, you're going to share it with each other. You're going to share it that, so that you know, so that everyone knows this is who I am. I'm, I'm metal or this is who I am. I am, uh, uh, I am fire. And this is my, this is what I'm good at. And this is what I'm not good at. That, that's what you share. <laughs> that's what you're sharing. This is what I'm good at. This is what I'm not good at. If I get these things, I move. If I get these things, I move. So you need to give me these things. You need to know what they need. Everyone in your organization, remember, if you are leading, you equip. If you're leading people, remember, you cannot, when you look at organizations that is falling behind, they're stagnant, they're not moving, you say, well, who drives them? Who drives them? You leading your organization, you need to drive your organization and make sure that everyone in your organization is doing what they need. We did assessments on performance. And guess what? We, the, the business that we assist on average in South Africa, people work at 40% of their capacity. 40% of their capacity. They're working at 40%. So imagine you have people working for you but you can do more than twice as much if they're more productive, which is why we cannot compete with, with, with countries like Germany and China that's working in the 90%. We, we can't because they just do more. They do more with the time that they have. So, so this is why we say it's your responsibility. If you firstly to make sure you as an owner is adding the most value, Right, so you're fitting in the right spot, so you're doing more, and everyone around you is is doing uh, more, and and you need to give them what they need. You understand? You need to give them what they need to be able to do that. You need to equip them, right? So if they are metal, right? They and, and we and we use an analogy, which I like to use on plants. So they, if you use a plant analogy, uh, uh, your metal person, which is your finance person, is your cactus. Okay, so they are your cactus, so you can put them in the corner somewhere. If you touch them, they prick you. They don't need a lot of care. You can just leave them. You don't even need to water them a lot. And they just find there in the corner, right? And then you have a different type of plant. That is your orchid. You know, an orchid, very delicate, very sensitive. They need just the right amount of water. They need a little sunlight. You need to put food in them. You know, the, uh, if you talk to them in the wrong way, you know, they, they get upset. Um, you know, if you rub them the wrong way, um, the, yeah, they, they, they're not going to function very, very well. They're going to work against you rather than with you, right? So this is very, very important to understand how this works, how it impacts on your organization. And you need to make sure you're giving everyone what they need when you give them what they need, they move very, very fast and your business is going to move fast and effortlessly because that's what you want, you know? You, 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 if you create this and you see businesses that is in flow, they don't appear like they, they, they're working very hard. They don't. They, 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 they're all enjoying it. You know, they're doing things that they enjoy. Uh, they're having fun, but they are moving very, very fast. You know, because you position them in the right areas and position them in, and you put them in everyone in the right areas. And that is part, a big part of what you're going to do when you start your business. Okay. So we, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. We're going to do a few tips to enter corporates. Remember, we said, we said, that's where the money is. Corporates, big contracts, that is what you want. So to be able to get in to those corporates, Right, you need to be able to do a little bit of research. You're going to research the organization beforehand. Where are they spending money? Who is who is in charge? Who is the structure? Who reports to who? Yes, you need to know this before you even make contact with the person. You need to know what their budget is. You need to know where they're spending. You need to know what's priority for them. If you're in construction and you, you're approaching uh, 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 um, uh, Kanya. Uh, Okuma was in charge of transformation for, for Old Mutual, for instance. They, and you in construction, they are focused on green, green construction. Yes. So they want to use these special, special materials and all of this. So obviously, you're going to package your business according to that. You're going to do some research, find out what are the type of businesses that they are supporting. They're looking for companies in digital analytics, um, black owned business in digital analytics, because they're moving in this in ICT type of sectors. Also, what they're looking for. So you're going to be doing that research 
and, and we mentioned this before, always find the decision makers. Who is in charge? Who is the boss, right? You speak from the top down, right? Because then you get traction and support from the bottom, okay? Understand their processes, when they apply, when they, 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 their programs are open, right? You need to understand the requirements within that organization, okay? Beforehand, you need to know when you're approaching, when you're approaching, pick and pay. Yes, Woolworths, they have ISO, they need compliance, but they pay for it. Let's say if you're supplying pick and pay and you're not ISO compliant, they will help you to become ISO compliant, right? These are important things that you need to look at, right? And the cost of that 250,000 ends minimum to be able to come ISO compliant if you're manufacturing, um, or, or in the retail type of space, they will help them, but that's the holiday for them. So you need to be organized. Your processes need to be, and you need to understand that this is important for them. Perfect the lure, guys, if doors open and close as quickly. It can open like that, but it closes as quickly. So before you open your door, before you contact these corporates, right? And people say, you know, can you connect me? Yes, we connected with all the corporates because we do work for them. We measure the impact. We have good relationship with them. Can I connect you? Yes, I can connect you. It's not a problem. But if I look at your profile, if I go on your, on your web page and I go onto your LinkedIn pages and I go onto your Instagram pages and I see nothing and the picture that, that, that I'm seeing, right, is not what, what these organizations want to see, that, that, that door opens, and they will say, thank you very much. They will smile at you. They will smile and say, thank you. But in their mind, they say, no, <laughs> you're, not, you're not ready. You're not ready yet. So take the time your, and perfect the lure. Make sure the picture you're painting is where you want to be in 10 years time. And the picture is clear. It is clear. When someone looks at it, they know this is a big business. This is a big business. Okay, and we, we mentioned this many, many times already in the workshops that we have, right? That, that you paint any picture you want, right? One of the companies, they do engineering, and I mentioned it before, it's an engineering, can they fix valves, these big, massive valves, water valves, that's all they do. They have a small company, it's the size of a garage, they have a couple of machines in there, and they do these valves, it's like three people, that's, it's a small company, but they, they applied on the Art Metal, one of the biggest incubators that's there. With that, you get five 20 million rand contracts to be able to do work for them. They only take on three businesses at a time on that because they push a lot of money in their, in their projects. They, this company applied. They're sitting around a table deciding on this business. And this company name came up. They said, these are the companies that applied. And one of the guys sitting on the, a young guy said, yes. I know that company. They are a professional. They're a big company. Why? Because he went on Instagram and he sees the videos of them when they go on the sites. Remember, they go on these massive oil rigs and they take a picture and they're taking videos of them working with their logo and their branded jackets on, on this, on this massive site. Uh, even though, you know, when you look at it, you, you're impressed because it's like massive. You understand? But they just come in to fix this little bell. <laughs> they, they're coming to fix this one little bell, right? That's all they're doing and then they leave. But they take the picture that they've got with this project. So they painted a picture that they are big, but they're not big. Can we understand? And it was done through social media. And through that, they got onto the program. You understand? They got onto the program. So this is why I'm saying you need to take the time to do that. Videos, pictures of where you're at, when you're with big clients, you're taking those pictures and you're painting your pictures. Always build the relationship, guys. Remember, contracts that you have, others, there's always someone trying to take it away. <laughs> the contracts you have, someone's trying to take it away, right? So you're building the relationship first. Do not go on social media and I want, I want, I want. You understand first what the challenges are, what the strategy is, when they're doing what, that's what you, and you're going to build the relationship. Become friends. <laughs> this is what he's saying. Friends. Yes, so when, you, when we're on Facebook, like everyone that's on LinkedIn, those are, we're friends now. I have them all on WhatsApp. I keep on the WhatsApp machine, I WhatsApp. You understand? We, this is what you're doing. You're building friendships, and this is where your opportunity is going to come. Always push for the proposal, guys. When you're working for corporates, can I do a proposal, right? Can I do a proposal? So you're going to, 
at some point, you're going to turn leads into money. And remember, so it's, it's no point. It's no point having lots and lots of contacts, but you have no contracts. You're having contacts, but no contracts. So you need to be pushing for the proposal. Always push for the proposal. You're maintaining contracts, the, the contacts. You cannot wait a year to contact a client again. Listen, if you, are, if you have 500 corporate clients that you've contacted, knows what you do, you cannot contact them once a year. You need to contact them whether once a month minimum via SMS, via email, via WhatsApp. It doesn't matter how you're going to contact, but you need to maintain contact with them. I'm still here. I'm doing this. I'm getting on. Just want to find out how you're doing. That's it. That's what we're saying, right? You need to maintain contact because they need to keep you at the back of their mind when an opportunity arises. Because you must remember, you don't know what's happening in pick and pay. You don't know the opportunities in pick and You don't know the opportunities in Santam. You don't know what's happening in these organizations, but they do. They know there's an opportunity here for a company in this field, and that's what you do. So you need to keep contact with these organizations, guys. Okay? You need to keep contact with these organization okay so never stop nurturing those relationships always remember it's an investment that you are making okay so remember trust simple things and i mean i mentioned it because it's simple things when you make when you make a promise you're gonna keep to it have the, the simplicity and clarity when you're offering services very very important right things like logos people overlook those things they overlook those things Right, but remember, everything you do, your logo is on it. It needs to be designed, right? And ideally, it needs to link up and make sense when people is looking at it. Keep it as simple as possible, guys. Your logos. You want people to remember it, to, to remember it, okay? And and always you're building trust, right? Always create win-win type of scenarios with your client. Look at how you can offer additional value additional value always guys giving more than expected this is why we in business remember when you incorporate specifically government slightly different if you go and tender someone comes in one rand cheaper than you they gonna get it but corporates don't work like that they want the relationship there they want the service uh, that is part of the, what they expect so you're gonna make sure that you nurture those re relationships okay that's it, guys, we are done, okay? We are done creating experience and feeling of satisfaction. Always, when we go to businesses, we run turnaround businesses for, you know, for the DTI, for companies that's in distress. We, when we go into those businesses, we don't ask the owners and directors, we, uh, uh, you know, how, how professional are they? We speak to the clients. We speak to the clients. We say, how was your experience with that, with that business? Oh, I felt... You know, uh, I felt good afterwards. You know, I felt that I've got a lot of value, um, uh, professional service. That's what we, we want to look at. So when we get that, if we get it from people that is that has gone through, that is received. So that's part of what you're doing. Right? You need to find, you need to get that feedback from people that is that you've provided services to. It's valuable information to you. It's valuable information that you're going to need to get from them. Uh, and this is how you improve is to improve that experience. Thank you, guys. We have covered this number that is on here, okay? 021-417-4043. That is the number for the hub that's underneath this, the, the golden acre at the city, okay? That is the Enterprise and Supply Development Hub, hub for suppliers of the city of Cape Town. So if you are either registering or you're thinking of registering with the city and you need assistance, that hub is there for you. This program is obviously covered by the city uh, to be able to support and, and assist small businesses in doing business with the city. So if you're not registered, uh, we would like you to register as well. So that's the number, uh, 021-417-4043. And that is the email address of the department that is there as well. Please, um, um, when you're sending an email and, you, and you're struggling to, to register, we do have how to do business with the city. Uh, and Naeem will, will forward that email through to you with all the courses that we still have in a few more of those workshops before the end of the year. 
Um, please attend those workshops, the How to Do Business, if you have not already. And when you are trying to log in or register with the city and you're having a problem, this is the email address. Remember, this is part of support for you as small businesses. And remember, there's not enough vendors registered on the, on the, on the new e-services portal. There was 12 and a half thousand vendors uh, about four or five years ago. There's only 4,000 that is registered on the new e-services portal. So we're looking for businesses specifically in certain sectors. Um, that can actually um, that want to do work with the city, so please register and uh, yeah. And I'm going to put my uh, cell number as well for the business um, in at the bottom. Naim, if we can please put my number in the chat box um, at the bottom. I'm going to stop sharing. There we go. So we're going to uh, have just a few a few questions before we're done. So I'm opening it up before we end off. Um, those of you that has received the feedback, the, the feedback forms, please, uh, while you while we're busy with the Q&A, please click on that and just complete the feedback forms. It's valuable for us. It goes to the city as well, and we use it to improve our services. Okay. If you have any questions while you're completing the feedback forms, you can please unmute yourself. If you are shy, you can type a message in the chat box, and I will try and answer your questions for the next few minutes. Uh, my number there, Naeem put it on, uh, 0835979687, that's WhatsApp, so you can WhatsApp on that number, it will be um, our business number um, for, for Greenhouse, um, so you can WhatsApp on that number. Um, everyone else, uh, thank you very much for joining us. If you have any questions, please ask, please ask your questions now, anything relating to your business, uh, uh, any questions that you have, you please ask your questions now and I will try and answer them. For those that uh, 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 joined us today, thank you very much for your participation and we will send you the links for the, for the up and coming workshops as well. Uh, please join us for that and for everyone else, have a great weekend. Um, don't waste your time, invest it please. Um, uh, uh, lots of things to do as, as we just discussed, there's, there's no time to waste, <laughs> lots of opportunities for you. Uh, so invest it, invest your time and hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you have a great weekend, guys. Thank you very much. Um, for, for those of you that just that needs to leave, if you have a question, you can stay on and ask your question. I'll still be available for, for a short while. Thank you, Nadia. Uh, keep well. If you've completed the feedback form, you can leave. Uh, otherwise, you, you can uh, just stay on and complete the form. Uh, thank you, Edwina. Keep well. If there's any questions, please go for it now. You can unmute. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Nadia, for completing the feedback forms. Hope you have a great weekend, guys. Thank you, guys. Keep well. Thank you, Thendo. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Yanga. Thank you, Sisanda. She say thank you to the city. The city is here. <laughs> thank you, Thendo. going to be a good weekend in Cape Town. I see the sun is out. Nkosinati, you have a question? Go for it, please. Your hand is up. You're, you're mute. You may need to unmute. Do you have a question? Nkosinati, you have a question? Who is it the old hand? Sorry. Madisa, thank you very much. Tizeka, thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. Oh, no questions. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Ravi, for joining us.
Nigel, happy to chat. Yes, we'll send Naim will send through the information, PowerPoint, um, the, the templates uh, in one email. As long as everyone has completed the, reg the register, you will you will get it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pride. Have a good weekend.